Okay, folks, we are live. So for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I will be your friendly Dungeon Master this evening. Tonight, we are carrying on with our ongoing campaign, playing Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 edition, uh, playing through... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Dr. Greg Gillespie's a very uh, cool... Barrowme's complete setting. And uh, with me today is one of the stars of our 3.5 uh, Barrowme's campaign, uh, Dave. So, why don't you tell us who you are and uh, who you're playing today? Hey, everybody. I'm Dave. I am playing Vargosh Drock. He is a half orc who started as, as a barbarian and then <laughs> uh, took a level in rogue and then a level in fighter. And if he gets back and survives and gets a chance to get to town and rest, he gets to level again, and I think, I don't know, I'll think about it during the session. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe another level in fighter, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> nice. So what you... Conan do? That's my new thing. <laughs> well, I mentioned to David before we got live that I had a copy, because I was, uh, I had it when I was uh, younger, and then I sold it without ever actually being able to run it, but I got, because we've been playing so much third edition, I snagged Mongoose Publishing's old uh, Conan, the role-playing game. That was published just as uh, third edition was coming to an end and 3.5 was coming out. Uh, because we've been playing this, and it's interesting because it does have some information about how the character was um, leveled in that game. It's a very it does have different classes and makes some changes to the rules and whatnot. But pretty cool, uh, per, per, cool way of adopting a uh, Conan role playing game. But with Vargosh, though, um, like what Vargosh happened? Vargosh has an Atlantean sword or anything. But... <laughs> nice. What, does he have? He replaces his weapon last time, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I think he's. Uh, I don't know. It's there. Last time we played, I put this on the chair and smacked myself in the knee at the break. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Better not do that. Um, yeah, Vargosh uh, upgraded or he replaced his. Uh, he'd lost the great club to that gray ooze previously. And right. Then, yeah, yeah. Uh, last week he was running around smashing people with a heavy flail. Uh, oh, right. Pick up that flail. So. Mm. So what happened last week? What did we do? Last week. Let's see where we we guys... were trying to get back to. I think we started off in the barrow maze trying to get back to town. Yes, that sounds right. John wasn't there. So it was uh, Rikus and Vargosh and the yep. henchmen. Um, and we were struggling mightily to get back to town. Uh, we kept getting lost. It got dark. Um, we got waylaid. We barely got through that. We had no spells left. And eventually like midnight or whatever, one o'clock in the morning, we rolled into <laughs> Helix. Yeah. And um, that was good because uh, uh, Rikus got a chance to level up. And since he's a cleric of Hearn the Hunter, decided to take a level in Ranger and some survival skills because we needed somebody to get us out there. Oh, shit. How am I going to get out there? How am I going to get out there? I'm not getting back. This is sort of the How way it I goes. Gonna... The Ranger shows up for when you guys get out there and then disappears. <laughs> so... Where's Wes when you need him? Um, yeah, really? <laughs> so, yeah, he got us. And then so we went out again after resting and getting uh, everybody together. Um, we kept Howlin, the kind of Viking warrior, and Golmox, the man-at-arms. Yep. Uh, Boldo came with us. He's a cleric of St. Yig. Yes. Yep. And our little buddy, Jared, who is inspired by your friend, Jared? Yeah, Jared Rasher from uh, Gnome Stew. Jared is a gnome archivist because uh, that is Jared's favorite 3.5 class. And he's a gnome, so. Plus, I look for any opportunity to make a gnome voice, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it all I works out. The, I hear the fans have been crying out for the <laughs> Flying City of Serene. Well, oddly Same. enough, we do get a fair amount of comments on uh, the goblin voices. Not a lot of call for more gnomes, <laughs> so. <laughs> Clearly, we need to introduce more uh, goblin NPCs in the game. Um, so, where we left things off, let's see here. Did we live on a cliffhanger? We were in the barrow maze. We had just gone down. Yes. Um, we'd gone left instead of right, which is north, I guess, on the map. Yep. And uh, the door trap triggered, and Vargosh rolled a 20 to escape and dove under the door back into the hallway mm -hmm. and used his trap finding skills to figure out where the lever was to yep. open the door and there we got bum rushed by a pile of skeletons yes 
yep. turned them into a pile of bones, mm -hmm. and it, that's where we left off, didn't we? Yes, I think so. So then, let me get my um, my second one here. And I thought I may have been wasting uh, money getting a copy of the fifth edition Barrow Maze as well as the OSR one, but this allows me to have one copy of the map out. I'm gonna have to open up a pile of characters here. Boldo, Jared. Yeah. Have to oh boy. Okay. I'll give you help with the uh, uh, spells and stuff like that as well too, as much as I can. Let's see here. Okay, I got everything set up, I believe. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> a, hex, a hex on you who didn't play, who didn't come today. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Why well, John just got back. He's still digging himself out from vacation. Uh, and yeah. then... Uh, yeah, there's... I mean, end of summer, I think, still. Uh, Jeff, I think, is golfing uh, again. So... All right. I, I know where you guys are. Once that uh, weather turns south, it's like the opposite of Helix. When the weather turns bad, uh, instead of avoiding the barrel maze, everyone goes running back to it. So, Okay, I'm sure you'll have backup in no time. But, uh, whoopsies. <laughs> but for now. Yeah, but for now, you're fucked. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Argosh retreats, and the rest of them form a shield wall to let him retreat. <laughs> okay. Argosh grabs Jared, and the rest hold the line. <laughs> all righty uh so then what do you guys wish to do next now i was yeah you have 10 minutes left or 20 minutes left in your torch yeah um so i think vargosh is going to motion everybody forward and then um they'll kind of like uh check out the room okay oh yes you're inspecting here all right, <clears throat> so this is, all righty, let's see what's in here. I will say for those uh, listening at home too, if you're not familiar, I've done a, a video on the Barrow Maze uh, itself anyway, but it one of the nice things about the um, book is it's designed to be played as you make your way through it. You don't need to memorize the Barrow Maze ahead of time. It's very uh, easy to uh, pick up and play. Oh, Which is good, because I was really trying to forget that door trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the first time, we, first so, time I went through that door was with Badonk. It was Wes and Badonk got stuck on the other side, and there were all these skeletons that came out of nowhere, and we're like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, fortunately, there is lots and lots and lots of more barrel maze to bedevil you. So, uh, oh, yeah. Even I think if you... we've about reached my limit of where I've been in the past. So. Mm, nice. Okay. Uh, so then uh, there is... Another room that you saw that was up ahead that had a door that was open right over here. Whoopsies, right over here. Yeah. So yeah. there wasn't anything left uh, in there. There was room? nothing in there, no. Okay. You know what? I'm going to switch up. I've been listening to this track for a little while now. Let me just switch this up here. I think I got something creepier. You know what? Let me grab Give me two seconds here. I was listening to. Uh, more of these uh, Kevin McLeod tracks uh, yesterday because I was setting up the Rollmaster uh, game. So I was reminded just how many really great uh, songs he has. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? Let's add another modifier in here. Horror. Yes. All right, what's this? Although, you, you, if you're going to be filling in for John, uh, you're going to have to give his full physical reaction <laughs> to so creepy songs. <laughs> it's, he reacts to it like it's, <laughs> yeah, it's in the room with him. Yeah, like someone's pulling his fingernails off. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so it's not that... See here, what's this? But here, here's the problem though, because I'm running off from two devices, I don't have the, the audio on. Mm. So my computer's not picking up and no recycling problem. the audio. Oh shoot, okay, so this is for the folks listening at home, this is all for you. Brian, Wayne, it's all for you. <laughs> Wayne's like, oh, one player, easy TPK. 
<laughs> That's a spirit, Wayne. Hey, Wayne, I'm thinking it would be more like an HPK, like henchmen all die, Bar Vargosh escapes. I don't know how that would work, but, you know. <laughs> all righty, so we got new uh, tunes listed. Now, what you uh, find in here is that this room is uh, almost completely empty, apart from some uh, broken bits that seem to have fallen off of those skeletal foes of yours. And then up in here, there is another room. I'm trying to think of what our marching order is going to look like here. So Vargosh probably at the front by himself. Okay. Um, I think it's Jared the... and Golmox who are carrying the torches as well. Golmox and Jared? Yeah, okay. I think so. So that's fine. I don't need a torch necessarily, but the people right behind me do. So. Um, okay, so I think I'm just going to move them as a group. Okay. <laughs> Look at how we march in sync. Oh, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's amazing. Never seen this before, folks, <clears throat> on the channel. The team now, moved in proper order. Have you... So I, I, am I correct in thinking that you are um, still going to be uh, doing your search, your careful searching? Yeah, we're on territory we haven't been before, so Margosh okay. is searching. Maybe okay. I should put him an extra five feet ahead of people. Okay. All right, so then... Uh, you can go ahead and make your way into there. I will let you know if and when things change. Hmm. Is there anything in this room? I don't see any doors. No, there are no other exits uh, from this room, unfortunately. Um, but there are... <laughs> Wayne says he's secretly pulling for me, but he's got to keep up appearances. <laughs> That's nice of you, Wayne. Thanks, so Wayne. then, what um, what you can do is uh, you're going to have to replace torches. So you're on to your next set of torches at this okay, point. So I think in the party armory? No. I think it's in the... What is it? The party loot? Party loot has the shield... Uh, Sled information? Yeah, okay, so yeah. Uh, let's take two torches off the pile. Yeah. Okay. So down to eight. Or do we want to go with one torch? Yeah, they're only a silver piece each. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you check in here, there are more um, like more fragments of bone and whatnot in here, but otherwise there is nothing else. Neither are there alcoves. And one thing you've heard about the barrel maze now that you're, you know, a couple, a month or so into spending in, in time in uh, Helix, is you've heard that there are alcoves set into the walls that are said to be full of hidden treasures as well as mm -hmm. hidden dangers. This is kind of odd, though. Vargosh is kind of like, well, why would you have a hallway that just stops? Unless it was to store your horde of skeletons to try and kill the first person into your barrow maze. Yeah, that would actually make sense because the, this door was closed when he first walked into the room below. Yeah. And it must have opened and let the skeletons up. Ah, okay. All right. Let's go the other way. All right. So far, gosh, what do you see there? Zombies. Warm up. Let's click on our tokens. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's uh, let's go with Golmox. I think he's going to have a strong initiative show. Okay. Vargosh, we're thinking it's going to swing the other way. Nope. All right, okay. and for these guys, let's see here. Ooh, I rolled terribly. They have hot garbage for initiative as well, too, so... I think yeah, even though Goldmox will not great. Ladies and gentlemen, there won't be much chainmail making tonight because I'll be working on five <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, now I roll. Okay. Holy jeez. Look at this. <laughs> A one. Oof. All right, so first up is going to be Boldo. So what is Boldo doing? Mm. Can Boldo even see that far? I don't, I don't think he can. Because it's here. only a 20 foot radius, right? Yeah, Boldo can only see up to, uh, right, like kind of the edge of the room here. Can I put a 
because I'm looking through Vargosh's screen. Can I put? Can we put a yellow? Yeah, circle and aura Absolutely. from the torch people. Yeah, that will um, make it torches. I think thirty radius. There you go. So that is no. I wonder if I can alter that so that it's not quite so. Uh, and so obstruct or obtrusive. Let's see here. It's not too bad. Not too Just bad. Looks okay. Like a, a yellow painted floor. <laughs> How, uh, let's see. What if we do this? Because it's actually, um, I think it's thirty feet of bright and thirty feet of dim. Uh, maybe it's only twenty. Let's see here. 20, twenty feet. Yeah, it's only forty feet total. So I'll put it as forty feet. There you go. How's that? That that way it's not. Really, can you see where the? Yeah, I can see the line. Okay, great. So you can see where it ends, but it it uh, doesn't have that awful yellow <laughs> color on it. <laughs> All right. So that's how far. Um, yeah, I think Vargosh is the only one who can see right now. But you did say careful zombies. So yeah. what would he do? Um, Boldo is a cleric, and he knows turning is hard. But I think he's still going to. Uh, uh, pull up next to Vargosh and uh, does he have a shield? No, I don't think he does. I think he's Boldo. only got a club. He's got a club? Maybe he'll stand back a square. Okay. And, uh, and just ready his club. Okay. Someone tries to squeeze past Vargosh, he'll hit him. Next up is Jared. Jared yeah. can't see them. No. So we can't do the dark uh, knowledge yet. No. Um, can he hold that as an action? Yeah, absolutely. You can okay. ready any kind of action, uh, and his is a uh, its a move action might... to yeah. do dark knowledge. So he can exchange his standard action for that if he has to. Yep, absolutely. So he moved 10 feet already. Okay. Uh, then it's Halwyn. Halwyn is not scared. She'll move up next to Vargosh. And okay. hold an attack for a zombie comes in. And then Vargosh. Um, since the others have formed up on him, I think he'll uh, just hold an attack in case something gets within range. Okay. And then Golmox. Um, he's going to move up and next to Jared and be like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the zombies are shambling forward, and Boldo and the rest get their first view of it. Uh, then it's Boldo's turn. What's Boldo doing? Um, he doesn't know. He can only see to here. That so far, that's only two. I think he'll still. Um, I think he's going to pull his holy symbol out. Okay. And he's going to hold it, and if he sees more than like four or five, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll try and turn on dead. Okay. So if he sees more than four? Yeah. Okay. Jared's up next. What's Jared doing? So Jared can see them now. They're within yes. that white aura. Can yeah, he so, try his skill? Yeah. A knowledge, um, a religion check, please. 15 gives you all plus one to hit these things. Uh, 25 gives you plus two. Knowledge, religion. There we go. Come on, Jared. I'm going to make this bigger so I can see the edge of the screen. Yes, 26 plus two to hit these things. Jared, you're the man. Right? You should, you should be on my team more often. Those <laughs> other guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so his, I believe he's used this at least twice today. So this is probably his third time. I think, I can't remember if it's his second or his third. Is there a way, are we tracking that somewhere? Um, uh, Arlen was controlling him last time, so I would take a look on the character sheet and see if there's... Yeah, I think he's got it under his uh, spells. Oh. Okay, so he has it on under, as other. He has two of three dark knowledge left for today. So now he has one of them. One left, yep, there you go. Awesome. Okay. So he still has a standard action if he likes. Uh, He has a crossbow. And he knows that the crossbow has been not terribly effective against these things. Uh, okay. he, this is the ones cut them down he cries out 
Okay, so then he will not shoot his crossbow and waste a coral. He will, uh, or a bolt. He will just uh, wait in there. Maybe he'll have to heal somebody next time. Or does he have a healing spell? Uh, he does. I'm not sure how many he's got left, but... Spells, Jared. Jared, Jared, Jared. Caster, two of two. One detect magic. One cure minor. Oh, there's his first level spell. So he's going to bless. Uh, three cure lights. Great. So if he hasn't used any cure lights yet. No, let's, maybe he'll crack off a bless spell. Okay. Okay. So then, poof, I think it's plus one to hit and plus one to saves versus fear, right? Yeah, and that's everybody within, is it 30 feet or 60 feet? Uh, everyone within, I think... Oh, I should don't know. Let's see here. Bless. Where are you, Bless? Bless, 50 feet. Okay. Caster and all allies within 50 feet burst. One minute per level. Plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and on saving throws versus fear effects. Nice. That stacks with the uh, Dark Knowledge, because Dark Knowledge is untyped. Uh, so, plus three to hit these things, then. Uh, then Sweet. it is Halwyn's turn. What's Halwyn doing? Uh, Halwyn is going to hold her attack. For Jared could in. technically and step as well, too, if he wanted. I'm not yeah, sure if there's somewhere he wanted to go, but... To the front line with Vargosh. Sorry. That feels like a gnome thing to do. <laughs> I'll get you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I think Vargosh and Halwyn are both going to hold their attacks. Okay. Uh, Golmox then it, do nothing. Okay, Golmox do nothing. Some boys. Yeah. Kind of nice with, me running, with me running all five characters, I can just tell you skip, skip. Yeah, hold, hold. <laughs> exactly. So they're slowly yeah, 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 shambling forward, but they don't quite get to you this turn. Boldo is up next. Uh, he only sees the four. I said more than four. I think he's still going to hold off. Okay. He also knows it's not very easy to turn, especially in the Barrow Mace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think he's still first level as well, too, so it's even yeah. more so he'll challenging. Yeah, so he'll do nothing. Jared will do nothing. Howwin. Howwin. Uh, you know what? I think she's uh, she's done waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make your attack roll. <sighs> Swing that mighty battle axe. How about I check the AC? Okay. AC checked. So she gets a... Uh, Plus three to hit. Between Dark Knowledge and Bless. Oh, why did it not do... Oh, did you roll on the... Yeah, it's got all the macros are... I know that they... The sheets changed. Oh, fuck, they did the it again? The macros are gone. Single attack and damage. There's a new button. Oh! This is nice. Far right of the sheet, without all the macros, it's got Wow. So you know, they were... So, Roll20 uh, put out their report this week of games that were being played, and 3.5 was the fourth most played game. No, it wasn't. That's not true. Pathfinder 1, then Pathfinder 2, and then I think it's then uh, 3.5, but they mentioned they had an update to the character sheets. These look awesome now. Holy shit. Yeah. With all that, yeah. Sh that extra stuff on there? I remember. So they have single attack, full attack, damage roll, and single attack and damage. So I also remember to use the level far, far button. Oh, so like, does it? Let me take a look here. Let's take a, uh, I'm so excited with the new uh, here, Howling. It's, here diff go. it's different, though, pushing the. I'm going to see if the buttons Single are attack, still... full attack, damage roll, single attack, and damage. Oh, that's super fucking cool. So does, uh, let's see here, did Bate, do we have to reset up? No, that's still working. She has no initiative bonus, that's right. Uh, base attack bonus is still there. It's rolling a d8 for damage. Great. Uh, I'm gonna flip over to Fargosh and sheet. Let's, let's see, see here, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a look. Your single attack and damage. Flanking. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. So where is... Oh, you know what? They're hidden. The, all they've done is they've just they've hidden the uh, uh, the macros. If you click down, that's where they show up. Oh, okay. So they're there still, but uh, damage bonus. So I wonder what see happens. I'm just going to see this here. Oh, yeah. They just hid the macros with that little arrow. Got it. Cool. I, I, I mean, at the very least... It just makes it look a little cleaner. Yeah, most definitely. And it's, I mean, it looks like it's still pretty easy to uh, look in three, look in three. I wonder. Damage, variable damage. Let me see something here. Uh, let's give her a hand axe. I just want to see what uh, slashing, no weapon enchantment, no penalty. Range, I think, is 10 with the hand axe. Uh, attack ability, strength, damage ability, strength. Damage is 1d6. No variable damage. Let's see what happens here. Fuck yeah. So you can also just fill it in the simple way, and then it'll populate. Um, yeah, the macro will work properly on its own. So it'll work just like other uh, sheets now, where you can just add in the like English language stuff as opposed to having to code it. That's super useful. Very cool. Wow. Thanks to whoever uh, updated these sheets. That's that's pretty awesome. Kind of liking it. Yeah, definitely. It seems like I mean, this is twice in the time since we started this campaign that they've updated the character sheets. That's fantastic. But yeah, the, the um, I think it was fifth most played. Then, because it was first most played was um, D and D fifth, obviously. Uh, second most played was Call of Cthulhu. Third was Pathfinder first edition. Then Pathfinder second edition. Then D and D third, or three point five. Wow, Where, where's all my folks playing two E? Come on. Uh, it's we. Uh, there was more playing that, um, and there was. Uh, let me make sure. I, I want to. I'm sure I didn't misspeak here. I wonder if I screwed up, if it, uh, I forgot, like, um, Starfinder. I do know there were some people playing. Um, there were more people playing 2nd Edition, uh, which was like 0.1%, as opposed to Astonishing Swordsman and Sorcerers of Hyperborea, which I think is just us, because it was 0 .00, and then into the third uh, decimal place. Top play D and D five. Second is uh, at sixteen percent is uh, Call of Cthulhu. Three point four is percent is Pathfinder one. One point eight percent is Pathfinder second edition. Uh, then it's one point two for Warhammer of, of but they lump all the Warhammer games together. One point two for all War World of Darkness games, but again they lump all of them together. And then it's one point one for D and D three point five. Wow. So I think that the safely puts it as a fourth most played. That's pretty cool. And it's great. I really appreciate whoever uh, in the community updated the character sheets for it. That's just making our jobs even easier. So anyway, we uh, with that done, and it does sound like, or it does look like, all the sheets are still there. Like that information that was in the macros is still there. We just, now going forward, we can it'll be easier to set shit up. Yep. Pretty cool. All right. So anyway, uh, how when it did hit, what, what, what did you roll for damage? Three? Uh, three, I think. Okay. So that is a hit. She hacks into this thing, but it uh, unfortunately uh, barely seems to affect it. Vargosh, you are up next. What are you doing? Oh, and you Vargosh. have... I'm going to give you four points of Astonishing Fortune today. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Vargosh moves diagonally twice, pulls in there, and then attacks this one right here. All right. You'd almost think I'm like... You know, <laughs> <Deacon>. <laughs> He, like, dodges around that square so he doesn't get an attack of opportunity because he's not sure if this zombie is able to do it. Mm -hmm. And then leans in, not flanking. Here we go. But power Arr. attack. Uh, attack bonus of three. Does he have acrobatics? He does not. Okay, because you can tumble to avoid uh, attacks of opportunity as well. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, he's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is less, less uh, panther-like reflexes and more like buffalo-like reflexes. All right. 
Uh, a bow so, with an eight, 18 to hit and 16 fucking damage. Fucking hell, yep. Yeah. Matt, you carve through that thing. A quick upstroke, and that one is out of Halen's way. Uh, then it is Goldbox's turn. Uh, I think he's going to cleave. Oh, yes, of course he is. Of course he is. Please go ahead. On the one right below him. Yep. Solid hit and enough to take that one down, too. All right, now it is Zomboid turn. So it steps in. Chokehold. This one moves up. The one, the one that moved up cannot attack you. The one that stepped is going to attack you. All right, so I think your AC is like a 16 right now, isn't it? Or 17? It is a 16, yes. 16, okay. So then... It is a 14 is not good enough. <laughs> Tries to get at you. Is not good enough. Boldo's up next. What's Boldo doing? Uh, well, Boldo was thinking about maybe kept t- turning undead, but he's glad he didn't because Vargosh just slaughtered two of them. Yep. So he'll uh, move up behind Vargosh just in case he's got to heal somebody. Okay. Uh, but not doing anything otherwise. Sounds good. Then it is uh, Jared's turn. Jared's like, go, oh my gosh. <laughs> See how much fun it is to do his voice? <laughs> All right, and then Halewin? I think she's going to move up and try to tag one. Sounds good. Go ahead. Make sure I'm on the right sheet. Yeah, go. Battle X. Flanking bonus, no. Attack bonus, three. So it's. Oh. Oh, let's try this again. Single Stop attack it. damage. Blank, no. Attack bonus three. It's not asking for my power attack. It didn't on the single attack? Okay. Single power attack um, minus one. Attack down this bonus. No, it's not. You know what you can do is, if that, that macro might be screwed up, uh, you could just put it in just, where I've got I'll the hand attack axe. Bonus, attack bonus of two. Okay. Yeah, and you can then, do that. And then we'll also add two to damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. Uh, then a, it... A for effort. Yeah. I mean, you could spend a Staunching Fortune if you want. Oh, she doesn't no, have class. Oh, she does have class level. She's a fighter. Yeah. Nada? No. Okay. okay. It is Vargosh's turn. What's Vargosh doing? Well... Cleave City doing... again? Cleaves. Welcome to Cleave City. Population <laughs> 1. Nice. Hopefully population two. Let's say, come on. Yeah, so for him it gives the power attack penalty. I but wonder it's if it's uh, because something was something went wrong with her macros mm. at some point. So you could just add it in where I've got that hand axe on her. You could just add her battle axe in there again and use that going forward. Solid mm. hit, not enough to take it down, though. Okay. Schwock. It's nearly uh, defeated, though. Golmox is up next. Um, he feels pretty confident that we're going to win this fight without his participation. Okay. So he'll move up behind Halwyn and... All right. Yeah, you guys are doing good. Then, uh, Halwyn's AC is what right now? Oh, I'll make my attack on you first with a one. 15 is a miss. Yeah, it just barely misses you. Scrapes across your that uh, awesome new uh, chain shirt of yours. And I'm sorry, what's Halen's? Halen's got a 15. Halen's got a, thir- a f- sorry, 15? Yeah. One five. Okay, so I need a 13 to hit her. <laughs> five is not going to do it. Yeah. Boldo is up next. We can skip down to Halen and Vargosh. Okay. Halen is up. What's she doing? She is going to snack. She can try and hit the one that Vargosh injured. Okay. It's wobbling back and forth. Go ahead and make yeah, your attack roll. She's going to learn from Vargosh, book of his, uh, Vargosh's rules and the kill stealing. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh and does she ever slotted. kill steal? Yep. Great hit. I don't think she's got cleave. She has power attack. She has no Okay. Uh, then it is Vargosh. I think power attack is the step towards cleave, isn't it? It's a mandatory. Yep. Yep. Okay. And uh, Vargosh, can you take this last one down? Yeah, he is <laughs> putting all the numbers in. <laughs> Solid hit. Still not down, though. Yeah. Not enough. 
So then uh, Golmox, I'm assuming he's doing nothing. Actually, emboldened by there only being one left, Golmox steps up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can do this. I can take the last one down. Here it comes. With his club. Oh, he only has a club. Oh, well, club it is. It's, it's club zombie today. Here we go. They aren't, have they are, yeah, they're not very hard to hit. Plus three to hit, though, so there is that. He doesn't have power attack, though, right? I don't it's think he does. No, he's a, a, war, a warrior, not a uh, fighter. Nah, look at oh. that. Critical hit, though. The undead doesn't take critical hits, but that is enough with that initial strike <laughs> to take the thing down. And then he's like, Helwyn, did you see that? Did you see that? You see, I took it down. <laughs> nice. And she's like, you fucking hit in the back until the last one was almost dead. <laughs> Oh, Golmox, you kill her. He's learning uh, Vargosh's rules all too well. I don't think anybody took any damage in that fight, did they? Nope. Nope. Okay. So you could, uh, what, I guess, what do you wish to do next then? You got an idea of where the illumination goes to? Vargosh is like, these aren't the ones that spring up, are they? Stabs one in the head. Uh, so as you're stabbing it, uh, Jared kind of adjusts his goggles again. No, those are not. Oh, okay. It's a different reason, Dad. Hmm. So. Do we have a word for those ones that jump up? Because we need to know when those, you know, we're facing those ones. I think it's... I've heard them called, uh... Grabbers? Maybe? All right, that's fine. Everybody, when you're fighting the grabbers, that's what they're, they're trying to jump up and scare you. They're brittle, too. Mm. So Brute he's going to go ahead. Concussive damage will do more. And get yourself... Okay, you got your guys organized. Where to next? Okay. This is that back into a hallway? Yep. So you we'll stop at the here. corner. Okay. All right, so there's a door there. He yep. kind of points just kind of almost directly ahead. I think we've gone that way before and it heads south and that's where the got attacked by those Sturges, those big blood suckers. Mm -hmm. Have we gone up this hallway here, guys? I, I don't, don't think so. think so, no. Jared would be the only one who'd survived previous campaigns. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, so I think, I don't think you've been up there before, no. Let's do it. Okay. So I gotta keep ticking down here. All right. Cautiously move your way forward. And then. Okay. Well, oh, that's a long hallway. I can't even see all the way down. Wow. Mm. What do you think? Long hallway? Sure. They sort of shrug and then like you're the you pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, normally I have to ask, discuss this with people, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, so once again, Vargosh take the lead. Uh, Jared's uh, second row. Okay. All, all winning cool box. All right. Yeah, he's checking the floor. I don't know if you yep. still have my rolls. I do. Yep. Okay. And we don't see any doors anywhere down this hallway? Not down this hallway. The what's... Wait, what is that up ahead? Ah. Another door. Another door. All right. Well, he's back to the ground. He's still looking. He's got his sword away, and he's like... Yeah. Looking at the ground, checking around. Oop. He's going to leave everybody behind. Okay. Problem between keyboard and chair, folks. <laughs> It's not Vargosh leaving the two people behind. It's Dave not knowing how to use control and click and drag. Mm. Uh, appears that there oh, are the, 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 the more there. doors, yeah. Okay, now hold oh. on a second here. It's up. There's like a... Yeah, and there's weird. There are... Looks like there's portcullis. All into the front. Okay. That one goes up now. Let me tell you. Oops. 
Okay. You hear no sound coming from there whatsoever. Who was the one that was normally listening? Was that? Oh, that was Rikus, wasn't it? Yeah, Rikus is one with a, a crazy uh, perception bonus. I think. No, I don't think Jarrett's got a huge wisdom bonus, but let's take a look here. Uh, skills. His listen is a plus four. Yeah. What is um, Vargosh's? I think he didn't get a bonus from one of his, uh, like his background or something like that. We need to go through this. <gasps> oh yeah, right. Your your wisdom's hot garbage. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, I have a minus two. Never mind. <laughs> what? His, uh, he gets a plus two to his survival and to his fortitude saves. So. Like your friendly dungeon master, uh, Devargosh spent his uh, early 20s dancing next to a speaker, so he can't hear shit anymore. <laughs> so. All right. Then. So it appears that there are at least two doors in here. One right here and one up here. And there are... What this here is uh, Port Kali that go from the ground all the way up to the ceiling. Concealing, uh, but you're able to see into this room that is beyond. Okay, wait here. Just going to step forward a bit, see if he can see what's going on. Sure. Hmm. And the hallway continues on. There's a third door. There's a third door. Yeah. It's good to be the thief. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm, what do you think, Fargosh? He goes back. All right, there's three doors. There's an open area behind that port cost. I think I didn't see anything, so I think we checked this door first. Nothing behind us. Okay. So the one with the best listen actually might be Boldo at this point. Boldo? Yeah, let's see here. Uh, only because uh, clerics value wisdom quite a bit, and wisdom's your stat for listen. Boldo, what to listen? He's at a, yeah, he's at a four. Four, so same as... Uh, um, Jared? A Jared, yeah. Okay, so I think Boldo will move up next to Vargosh. Okay. Are we in the square? Is that the square of the door, or is that uh, the door? Yeah, where where Vargosh is centered is the square where the door is. Okay, he'll move over a bit. So okay, hold open. So let me make it check here. Well, he I think he can uh, he can take a unless something's hiding in there. Actually, yes. If you don't know, there's whether or not there's anything hiding in there. I do need to make a check for him. So as far as he can tell, uh, there is. Nothing, no sound whatsoever okay. coming from within there. What would you like to do? Attack first, listen second. <laughs> <laughs> the folks in the chat are like, Vargosh isn't prone for, known for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Very no, true. he's not. Not even <laughs> listening to his federal party members sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think he's going to crack this door open. Okay. Is it locked? Does he have to unlock it? Door's not locked. Okay. Uh, and it is not stuck either. Okay, then he'll, uh, if the door starts to swing, he'll like... This corridor, incidentally, is uh, lined with dust and debris. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you give us a 1d12 roll, please? How about I go to the result? Oh, That's nice. Okay. Thank you. Gold coins sprinkled into my hand from above. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. All right. So, ready? I'm making this sound dangerous. Okay. Let's see. And one. Two, three, doors thrown open. What you see beyond 
is mm. an empty crypt. If there was something in here at one point, you cannot see it right now. There is, wait, you can see, I think, because of your oh, half-orc uh, uh, lineage. On the far side, there is graffiti scrawled on the wall. Three words. Argosh is badass. Pool was here. Like Titus Pool? <laughs> Who knows? Apart from that, there is nothing else. There is no... Um, what do you call it? Uh, there is no... Uh, um... Uh, sarco or what do you call it? Uh, alcoves in the side of the wall. Uh, there is no uh, sarcophagus uh, in the center of the room. Hmm. Want me to check it out? He's gonna he's gonna look around by the door to see if there's any like secret levers. He doesn't want the door to shut on him. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad uh, strategy. Let's take a he's look like, here. I'm gonna I'll go in the room, but I'm not gonna go in and get trapped in there. You're fairly certain uh, there's nothing. Okay. He, like, steps through the door. Okay. Make sure it stays open. It stays open <laughs> this time. Yep. <laughs> and he, he's like, all right, uh, maybe follow me up here. And the... Okay. So everyone makes their way in. Lomox, watch the hallway. He nods. Okay. So you perform a very careful um, examination here. And uh, there doesn't appear to be anything. Hmm. Clearly we're not the first ones here. This mm. pool must have been the one to rob this place. Mm -hmm. If I catch him, he stole my stuff. That's it. All right. Where would you like to go next? I think we're going to do a uh, little swing by that. Let's head down to this this thing over here. Okay. The bars. We're going to go into the bar. Okay. Uh, are you trying to uh, like pull that portcullis up? Um, I think you just want to look through it and make see what you can see. Sure. From what you can see, there's nothing in there. I need to check one thing as well. About our friend, the gnome. The gnome, gnome, gnome. Here we go. Cape Cat Lover, Doom Bunny. It's going. Okay. Brian's here too. Brian in the bunker. Drek. All right. Up and I'd say hello to everybody in the chat. Hi, everybody. Okay. Uh, then, oh, and Drek, uh, thanks as well too. Uh, you sent me a, a re reminder about the uh, companion set for uh, uh, epic level play. I have. I don't know my companion set anymore, but I do have. Oh, my rule cyclopedia. So I'll take a look at the uh, domain rules in there and see if there's stuff we can steal for our uh, Night Below campaign. So thanks for that. Um, a good reminder. So what do you wish to do next here? Okay. As far as you can tell, there's nothing in it. They've, they've uh, oh, here's something curious. This is the first time you've come across this, Fargosh. Down here? Yep, doors. This is a bricked off part of the hallway. Mm. You've heard of these. I, mean, uh, I should have loaded this image already, but let me. Been sealed off. Yes. This is why you guys bring sledgehammers. Mm. It's because you've heard. Now the downside is, is by um, deploying sledgehammers, you are making a lot of noise that can draw attention. Right. We didn't bring silencers for those such <laughs> No. Sadly. Okay. All right. Boldo. Everybody else. 
So it's not an error on my part that that door's open. Oh, the, it's partly open. The so door I'm is actually a jar. You hear that, folks? <laughs> we have a phylactery in the house. The door is a jar. <laughs> but um, bump, terrible D and D jokes. Yeah. So we live true. for. Are you kidding? Wait for the first Noel to show up. <laughs> oh, then there'll be no more jokes for you. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you wish to do? Mm, Argosh still tells Boldo to listen. Okay. Let's see here. So he carefully leans against the door. And he oh, says, Hey, hey. Oh, I need to make a... You just make a stealth roll for the lich. Yeah. Fang dragon. Everyone's been asking for it, so. Oh, indoor fang dragons. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, what? There we go. Newly domesticated fang dragons for your whole family. Mm-hmm. Looking stuff up. I'm putting chain rings in. Nice. Boldo kind of stops and says, I think. I think there's something above the door. That was awesome, Dave. Wow. That's uh, the alliance chain? Yeah, square wire alliance colors. That is super cool. Pretty wild fans. Pretty yeah, gold. yeah. Be full of honey. I'd rather be full of money. Come on. <laughs> so you can see there's something above he says there's something above the door I think something waiting hmm. sword out yep <laughs> stab up above the door you try and get in okay so let's do this um, let's roll an initiative to, yeah strike whatever is above the door like between the door and the yeah, because I think that it'll get. Uh, That's like an attack, though. Yeah, and there's a ready to action, so I'm just going to leave it to uh, initiative to determine uh, who goes first. Let me move that door out of the way, and then I got to get a. Uh, actually, let me add a token in first here. We're done. Oh yes. All right. Margosh, you were taking the initiative. How can you be so damn slow? Uh oh. Uh oh. I got it. Oh boy. Okay. Thanks, Creminator. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let me. Hmm. I didn't roll terribly good either. Or terribly well, I should say. Uh, go to the dynamic lighting layer. Let me get this out of the way for you. Doors thrown open. Look what's waiting above. Kev's second favorite creature. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys thought toads were, you're right. All right, and I rolled okay, six. What is it? Let's see if you're going to act before it. That didn't roll very well. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, six. <laughs> His bonus is a point three, is a three, and you, <laughs> Jesus. My oh, modifier is a two for dexterity. That's hilarious. All right, so just seconds before this thing comes down uh, on you, uh, you're not going to be caught flat-footed because uh, you were aware that it was there, but it does get an attack on you. It does get a bonus for having a, a superior position. So as it drops down, flump. Let's see, I got a plus six to hit you. I need a ten or higher to get you. Does the spider say, oh my gosh, I have the high ground? <laughs> Ten on the nose. So this thing's fangs. As you're trying to swing your weapon into it, its fangs sink into you. You take uh, six points of damage, and I need a fortitude save from you, please. Arr. Sixteen is good enough. Yes. 
All right, so you, uh, shake it off. Uh, that is the extent of its action. Uh, Vargosh, you get to please return fire. I said I had my sword out. You did? Yep. Let's see if he's incapable of uh, power attacking. <laughs> Uh, that is a solid hit, and that is enough to kill it in a single stroke. Ow! So you get in. Ugh. All right. Wider. And he, like, Ugh. kicks it over. Yeah. It's 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 a uh, curl up on its back with the legs up. And... Yeah. It's like what those, those uh, skittering things in uh, the original Diablo. When you knock them over, and they, like, <laughs> shake and die. All right, um, you can see that above the, the doorway, now that you're in, above the doorway, there's just a, a whole complex of webs uh, that are in there, and it looks like there is a skeleton that still has some bits of uh, flat, like uh, um, its clothing and whatnot still on there, but it's kind of trapped up in the in the web. Hey, Jared, our, is uh, spider fire, spider webs fire? Can you put it on fire? Uh, most definitely, yeah. That's that torch. Hands you the torch. Vargas puts one hand on his sword, takes the torch, and goes up yeah. to the fire. So it's not like uh, flash paper, but I mean, it, it burns pretty quickly. And around the the uh, dried stuff, um, the, even if it does singe the skeleton a little bit, it doesn't, like none of its clothes will catch fire. And it drops to the ground, and you hear a tinkling sound. You hear that? Let's check it out. So if you get in there, now I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember. Let me see here. <laughs> right, I thought so. I was like, I can't remember if there are Electrum pieces in 3.5. I don't think there are. So, uh, air on the side of uh, benefiting you. Within the desiccated, what you heard the tinkling was uh, a sack. It's all kind of dried and cracked leather, and like by opening the thing up, it's sort of falling apart for uh, how long it's been down here. It's still holding. Actually, that's not, not true. Just it would be very caked in, in fluid and whatever, uh, but it would it would still open and, and keep its uh, um, its structure. There are one hundred and sixty three gold pieces in there. One six three. Oh, so how are we doing um, treasure on these expeditions? As I'm trying to think, guys, because we have like when people come and go. If there was something significant, we've shared it, or have we not? I uh, I so so far, I think the way we've been doing it has been. I mean, it's pretty much been like one person missing from one session, so they get the share of the of the expedition. But if you you guys will be spending more time in the barrel maze. I'm at your disposal. Like, I mean, I think that um, either we'll let whoever is at the session make a, a call on how they want to do it. I think um, for tonight, because Rikus got us here, we're like, you know, kind of in that. Yeah. Rikus was part of this expedition. I think it would give Rikus part of the of the treasure. So well, I know. I just heard from Arlen, too. He's, he's actually sick tonight. His allergies have been killing him. 163 GP? Yeah. 163. So, yeah, I know he'd appreciate that then uh, as well. Adventure ain't cheap. Gotta pay for all you yahoos. Vargosh turns around and... <laughs> um, uh, Jared kind of... <clears throat> you, you understand I get a share of that, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna keep a little keep a little section of that for Rikus. For Rikus as well, nice. Yeah, so the only one who's not getting a share is Golmox, because he's just a hireling. He's just a hireling, correct. And it's not but, until he gets uh, three levels in uh, NPC, excuse me, NPC class that he can actually uh, take a class level. But Halwin, Boldo, Jared, and Rikus are all getting a share of this. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then, what would you like to do next? Oh, let me mark down the... Check. I'm just going to check the room out, because... Sure. You know, Okay, so you guys uh, right. kindly mark off two more torches. You will be starting up a couple of the new torches now. And because you are keeping uh, track of how many torches, this is a roundabout way of you tracking the time as well. It is yep. now five o'clock. 
Uh, and it takes us how long to get back? Uh, it takes you, I think it's 45 minutes or so to get across the Barrow Mounds, and it takes four hours to get back to town. Okay. We and should probably head back in a little while. And depending on how much caution uh, you take as you're moving through the uh, Barrow Maze. Well, it's not so much that. It's uh, We don't have the two people that have been nav- helping us navigate, or the th- first wolf. And then Kyrian and then Rikus. And now it's like, now that we're here, I'm not sure how we're getting back, but we're getting back. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Bargosh is like that overconfident student who got good grades. And, no, actually, no. He's that overconf- <laughs> overconfident student athlete who doesn't get good grades and just thinks he can do it all. I have full faith in him. Uh, now, with... Did Kona never take a, ra- a ranger level? I don't think so. I mean, he's a barbarian to start with, so he's already wise in the ways of uh, climbing the hills and mountains of Samaria, the dark forests yeah. that are there, for sure. Maybe I could go take another level of barbarian. Yeah. Survival skills. You know, we're going to have to make room for both of those Conan games before the end of the year, because I really want to run uh, the Modifius one again before end of year, because it's just... It, all the Kickstarter books are out now, and I'd like to celebrate that. Are you talking about this beautiful leather-bound book? <laughs> yes. A big, big thank you to uh, Lloyd Gahan and the folks at Modifius who, when there was a small error in, uh, or I mean, a small imperfection, not even an error, in my collector's uh, edition of it, they sent me a second copy. <laughs> so Dave got the one copy. Uh, yeah, there's like some misprinting. Like it's a little bit of fuzzy printing in one point. Fuzzy printing on some a couple pages, but it's like yeah. otherwise this is still a fantastic book. Yeah, gorgeous, cool game too. All right, so then, um, you got two new torches flat flared up. Uh, they will be good until six o'clock. What would you like All to right. do? From so what you can tell, there is only one more. Yeah, there's one more door. And then there is that bricked over area. I don't think we're going to the bricked over area, guys. We don't have time. Okay, hold on. Actually, this is, ooh, interesting. Oh, do we not get there? Uh, no, no, you get there, but I, I just, uh, what is, oh, do you close that other door or do you leave it open? Oops, I'm turning Jared. <laughs> um, we'll leave it open. Leave it open, okay. And then this door is actually, uh, gone. So as you approach this door, uh, oh. it lies in pieces on the floor, and there is a coldness as you approach the room. What you can see inside is... Oh, and actually, let me give you a description of that last room as well, too. That last room, a crypt was decorated in bas-relief with images of the dead walking into the afterlife. That was in that spider room. In here, the walls are decorated with a faint uh, and vandalized frescoes. Uh, There is a disturbed skeleton that rests on a stone slab. And it looks like there is some kind of tablet with a runic marking sitting on the floor near it. Hmm. So there's a skeleton with a tablet. It's a skeleton that's f- fallen down over like a crypt in the center and then on the ground uh, or on a, uh, a slab in the center. Uh, and then on the ground, there is a, uh, a tablet with a runic thing on it. Now, does I can't remember. Does, does Jared have uh, knowledge arcana? Can't remember. I think that might have been something he does not have training in. Jared... No, he's got no he levels in it. He does not have training. He does have that. knowledge dungeoneering. Why don't you give us a knowledge dungeoneering check? That so rarely gets to be, be used. Uh, so 10's not a great number. You want to spend Astonishing Fortune? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Kim. Knowledge dungeon. 10 again. <laughs> so uh, he, yeah. he has an inkling that there's something about those tablets but he doesn't remember what it was he heard. I can't remember. If I could get my hands on it, 
eh. And he kind of looks up at you, Vargosh, like, is it okay to go in? Guys, I really want to go in. I'll go get it. Okay. First to enter, last to leave. Okay. Vargosh is taking Army Ranger as uh, his next class. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so as soon as you step in there, there is a swirling of wind within here. And then there is this horrific, let me see if I can find an appropriate image here. Swirling wind and Kev pulling up an image. This can't be that bad, right guys? Yeah, always good. Um, okay, let's and see. And that here. whole first to enter, last leave thing, that was. <laughs> he meant last as in ever, final. All right, so what appears looks like this initially. And then quickly begins to scream at you. Would you kindly give us a will save, please? This is a fear effect, so if you've got something that would um, be affected by fear. <laughs> you did take iron will, right? I did take Iron Will. Yeah. That gives me a plus two, which makes my will save a zero. <laughs> well, that's why we put 20s on dice, so let's see if uh, how this goes. That's pretty fucking awesome. But so, a pure 16 roll, I'll take it. So in spite of this terrible, ter this, this screaming fear, and you can feel like it's not just that it startled you. There's something unnatural about this that cuts right to your core. But you just grit your teeth ugh, and lean in. And you are unaffected by it. The screaming carries on for about another maybe 30 seconds. And then shh slowly gets quiet and she vanishes that was only your first step in there oh gosh turns back Jared what the hell was that and they look at you what was what that like woman that was screaming didn't you see it you saw a woman screaming uh, like a ghost kind of thing he kind of looks down and steps in. Now give us a will save for Jared, please. Jared, what are you doing? <laughs> he's he's that curious archivist who's like, oh, I'm gonna check this out because I wanna know. Exactly. <laughs> and there he goes. So he sees it and you, and you can see like, uh, he's got his goggles on, but you can see his eyebrows just get higher and higher and higher. <sighs> and he got, as soon as it's done, he sort of looks over at you. Is... Is that what you saw? <laughs> He's like, yeah. He, he spins around. Don't come in. Wait out there. So if it screamed in here, I don't think it was heard out there then. You didn't hear it the first time when I stepped in? No, nor see it. Now that... And he looks over and he's kind of like rubbing his hands. That tablet. What if we, if we keep moving in, is it going to keep doing that same thing? I see only one way to test that. <laughs> so you step in, nothing further. All right, let's get this tablet. Okay, so he is over to the tablet. Let me see. Jared, come get the tablet. I'm going to check out this sarcophagus like no 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 would you oh, i think you said no 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 oh sorry oh, i said no <laughs> sorry where is it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay where are you Ah, I know where it is, where I'm looking.
Okay, would you kindly give us a d20 roll, Dave? He looks at this thing and uh, kind of pushes his hand across the surface of it. He says, I don't recognize the language, but... Wait. Would you give us a... Uh, does he have training in history, knowledge history? Can't remember if he does or not. Uh, no training in knowledge history. He's got okay. dungeon and religion. Oh, religion. And Give us a religion check. And the planes. Okay. Holy smokes, religion. All right. So he says, I, I can't quite make out what most of this says, but I see... This is the Chronicle of Nurgle. What? No, who's Nurgle? And you, What's as you Nurgle? say that, the, you can feel the temperature in the room seems to drop like 10 degrees. And he says, oh. Jared kind of looks around. The God of Death, the Undead, and the Underworld. His followers are said to have seized and corrupted this land. The Barrow Maze itself, hundreds of years ago. Hey, Jared, remember when we were leaving here last time? Yeah. And I said there was like those priests that were chasing us. Would that be maybe followers of... Oh. If this is down here, their cult may be active down here, too. Do you think there'd be any uh, reward from the Church of St. Diego or somebody to recovering this? this to recovering, them? perhaps not. Destroying the cult of St. Yig. They are foes of them. And he turns to... Um, Boldo says, I have that right. Yeah. And Boldo says, what? Yeah, we we oppose uh, Nurgle. Why? What have you uh, what have you got? Fergosh puts his sword away. Pulls out the two-handed flail. Jared, I think you should set that down on the sarcophagus. <laughs> Jared looks up and looks down. You can see he's fighting against his like uh, better instincts and his desire to learn. Yeah, the archivist in him wants to like like absorb the knowledge, but yep. But he agrees and kind of <laughs> puts a thing up on the uh, thing. Boldo says, "Wait, wait, what are you, what are you planning on doing?" That's probably all he gets out until <laughs> until. What do you attack? Mean? You can just roll damage if you like. <laughs> and assume you put your power attack into it. Wham! Yeah, you hit this thing. It starts, uh, a big crack goes across it, and there's some chips in it. Boldly goes like, No! What are you doing? It's a. Uh, what did you say it was? Chronicle? Yes, says Jared. Bam. No! Wait! Do you need notes? He runs in. Would you make a will save for him? <laughs> you guys, the rest of you stay in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will save for Baldo. Easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So totally he runs up and sort of grabs a thing, broken as it is. No, wait, we should, we should study this. Why would you want to study an evil priest's guidebook what well, to, to to learn this is how we learn about our enemies we don't we know almost nothing of uh of nurgle it's got all these cracks in it yeah it's it's, oh, like, it's it's like almost completely broken at this point 
but this is how we would learn. If they're active yeah. down here, think of what we could uh, we could discover from this. We could discover the same amount by smashing them in the head. Let's go. Is their sarcophagus open or closed? Uh, it's only a slab, actually. A slab? Yeah. Uh, there is otherwise nothing else in here apart from that runic tablet. Bargosh puts his hand on Boldle's shoulder, shoulder and says, all right, I'll think about this for the next one we find, but you might want to just move your hands. <laughs> he kind of looks at you and very, very, very begrudgingly moves his hands. <laughs> and he steps back and Bargosh goes, yeah. oh, and, and it just... shatters into, yeah. He's, oh. Storms out of the uh, room. <laughs> now I get a really good damage on the last song. Yeah, it <sighs> shatters this thing. All right, what would you like to do next? How are those torches doing? Uh, torches are with this. Uh, you guys are only about uh, five ten right now. All right, we'll just maybe check out the porticolis, or do you guys want to check this? barricaded thing at the end of the hallway. Let's do that. So to take down the... Uh, I think we're going to take it down. I think we're just going to examine it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you examine it, like it is, it's exactly as you've kind of heard about. That's the kind of thing. If you take your... So if one person is working at it with a, a sledgehammer, it'll take three turns. So it takes half an hour. Two people working on it, it'll be two turns. Three people working on it, it takes only one turn. So 10 minutes. However, as soon as you start uh, using it too, I make a random encounter roll because of the noise yeah, on top I'm of the time that passes. How many, uh, how many, what we brought with us. So crowbar, I use hammer, torches, sacks. Mm -hmm. I don't see sledge on the thing, guys. Oh, maybe you guys don't have them. I, I think you must have because you used it to get through the. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I think Vargosh is carrying it on his character sheet. That's oh, all. okay, okay. And and uh, Barrat, uh, Jeff's character has uh, a. Uh, I think it's a combo, right? Let's like a shovel. Something shovel axe. Yeah, he's got a war pick. Yeah. That's why. Okay. So yeah, for, so for the sledgehammer. That's how long it would take to get through. And it seems like, so if you only got one person with a, a hammer, that's something to consider for uh, for the next time then. Putting the sledge back on the, the loop, party loop thing, because I don't think, while we're walking around, I don't think Vargosh is carrying a yeah. heavy flail, a great sword, and a sledge. <laughs> okay. Weakling, jeez. <laughs> uh, what would you like to do next then? All right, so we're not going to tackle this. He's like, Vargosh is like, it's late. Uh, we still got to make it back. If we start hammering on this thing, it's going to draw a lot of attention. I say we just uh, head, do a check, try and lift the particles, and maybe just head back after that. Follow me. Okay. Oh, I need. Yes, this. Right. Now, uh, give me two moments to set something up here. Let's see here. Okay. Um, clear me old, ye old search here. There we go. Let's look down. Look down, look down. I don't think it's too far back to what I need here. I think Vargosh is going to start using rules like in uh, Zombieland. <laughs> nice. Rule number 43. Smack, destroy cultist stuff. Yep, not a bad uh, strategy. Not a bad one at all. I start to question these priests who want to learn about other evil priests stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn them priests.
Okay, so then. Go right ahead and uh, move yourself. Okay. So yeah, yeah once again, there's that room. Uh, Howland and Golmox, I think I'm going to get them in here to try and help Bargosh raise this portable. It's, okay. Or maybe there's uh maybe he'll search around first to see if there's a, you know, he saw that funky. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. The door. Maybe there's some other thing out here that will. Do you guys see anything in the hallway that might have. You actually, uh, you find that there is, it's concealed pretty cleverly in the wall. Uh, fire gosh, just to the uh, if you're facing it, it's on your right. There is a small little, yeah. Uh, if you push, you kind of push in and to the side, and there's a little lever that you can pull. So you pull that, and you hear, and it pulls up. I'm not going to move the uh, things because I don't have them as a like a, a door, but you're free to move inside here if you like. What's in this room? Is there a description? There is. Let's see here. Within here, death. I mean... <laughs> you all get this. Sleep forever in the barrel maze. <laughs> exactly. You're the next zombies. Um, within here, there appears to be nothing. That's odd. Which is Why would you have a workless to keep people out of a room if there's nothing in here? Most definitely something curious here. You we don't could. see any inscriptions or... So let's talk about the search rule here. Let me find in my old search. Here we go. So one thing you can do is... Take 20, but it's going to cost us time. Yeah, I think it's two minutes uh, to take a 20 on search. Uh, full round action to take... No, two minutes. Two minutes to take a uh, full round action that uh, provokes the actual opportunity to search a 5x5 five five area. So you could either roll it at kind of uh, the spots that you tell me, or you could... Take a 20. Okay, so we start over here in the corner. Okay. And work my way searching the back wall. Okay, so that'll be, let's see here. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve minutes. Yeah. Okay. So let me mark that thing here. All in the box, you can you guys watch the front. Yeah, let me double. I know it's because I was reading uh, D20 or Mongoose Conan recently. I know it's two minutes in that. I'm going to see if I'm if they adopted it directly or if I'm spilling over. Let's see. Let's see. Two minutes, yep, so, awesome. All right, so, yeah, the torches are still flickering in there when you hear. Uh, yeah, so you can search along that entire wall. You do not, if there is something there, uh, it is beyond your uh, scope to see it. Yeah, well, and he's got uh, the thief trap finding, so. Yeah, which allows you to detect things over 25, so. Yeah. All right, so that first wall, uh, nothing. Hmm. Maybe uh, this wall. <laughs> okay. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, another twelve minutes. You actually don't even need to go that far. You're only to here. 
and you can see there is a secret door right there. You can feel around. It's about 10 feet by 10 feet. You can feel, because you've taken so much time, where the mechanism would be to activate it. What would you like to do? Uh, hey, I found a secret door over here. And Jared's like, really? And kind of runs over. Uh, not too close there, little guy. Are you? Oh, yes, of course. What if there's like a, what if it's just a wall that tries to flatten you? Oh, and it could be something else too. There are creatures what? What? that disguise themselves as such things. Oh, uh, right, right. Well, you just tell me whether I got to use a sword or, a, or, a, or something smashes you, like a flail, and I'm gonna, Margosh pops the, <laughs> the door <laughs> slides aside. I'm just going to move them out just a scooch so you can see, but the door opens. And there is a pack of six <laughs> living dead that are had it ready to action. So two of them are going to attack you immediately. So let me make this attack rolls here. Uh, you're flat footed. So what's your dex bonus? Or do you have any? Well, he's got a plus two deck bonus. Plus two, because it'd be a 14 to hit you. I hit you with one. Let's see, and these appear to be the exact same things that you've been facing uh, thus far uh, as well. But, 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 I really need to put uh, post-its in these things. All right. Um, so I did hit you with one. You take four points of damage. Yay! From a hit, hitting you, but that is it. Now let's, uh, oh, did you roll initiative for your guys? Yep. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, I got a 10, let me add, I shall add for the last dude. Whoa, Are jeepers. still in this square? Say again? Is Vargas still in this square? Or? Yeah, yeah, you're still there. Like, you actually can put yourself right there if you like. I just don't want to scooch him out so you can see where they are. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we go. And add a turn, oh, for Pete's sake. Add a turn. All right. Then that is a... Okay. I rolled 12, so I got 11. And then... Okay. All right, let's uh, put this in order here. Desandine. All right, Jared is up first. What would you like to do? He's one more use of dark knowledge for today. Yeah, I was just thinking. He and that is independent good. of him identifying what these things are, too. Dark knowledge just happens to give an, an extra bonus on top of that. Okay. Well, since we kind of know what these things, dark knowledge gives the bonus. So the, the uh, yeah, dark knowledge gives the bonus. If he wants to spend a, like just a uh, say a move action, is trying to figure out what these are. If they're those the grabbers, or if they're just you know regular walking zombies, uh, he could just make a, um, a knowledge religion. It's a knowledge religion check in either case. It's just a question of whether you want that bonus or not. Okay, so I think he's going to uh, skip the bonus and just tell us what they are. Okay. Yeah. So, share my Jared's. That's Jared, knowledge, religion. Here we go. No, knowledge, religion, just to find out what they are. All right. Oh, shit, he can't tell. Okay. You want to spend a uh, right. fortune? Mm. Oh, actually, no, 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 that's good enough. Yeah, these things are not, uh, I think it's only a, let's look it up. I think it's a 10 plus the initiative, uh, plus the uh, CR of the thing. So I think that might be good enough. Give me a sec here. Okay, we got Shaq here. Let's see. No ledge. Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. Uh, zombies. Cut them! Cut them down! He so, uh, Jared still has a uh, standard if he wants. Um... 
So he was here. Yep. I was going to move five foot step back, but maybe he takes a five foot step behind Vargosh. Okay. And as standard, he's going to cast a cure spell. Oh, nice. Okay. Because he's got. I think he's second level now, so it's 1d8 plus two. He used his bless. So he has three cures, so I will cast one of those. Do I just hit the. Okay, so he. There's a, a ring of, of uh, golden runes that appear. He pushes forward. The light washes over you. And just go ahead with a 1d8 plus 2. I'll put you on top there so you can track your... Is concentration DC 15 plus spell level or 10 plus damage received? Uh, he doesn't need to worry about concentration. He's not drawing attacks of opportunity. Okay. So yeah, concentration you only need to worry about if you're uh, trying to cast defensively. Yeah, it's 2d8 plus 2? Uh, 1d8 plus 2. 1d8. Yeah, he's only uh, casting Cure Light. There we go. Six, not bad. All right, so you're restored. Uh, then it is Vargosh's turn. What are you doing, Vargosh? What Vargosh does best. He's going to listen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I wonder. Let me uh, see if I can do something here. Move that back. Move that back. I wonder if I can put you in a spot where you can... There you go. You can see both. So now okay, you can see the room, see right? Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yep. Uh, let me move that. To one of my, these guys is my initiative tracker. So let's get him out of the way. Okay. All right. So that's what you can see that's in there, Vargosh. All right. Well, he's going to swing and yell out, there's like six of them in here. Okay. Go ahead. Solid hit. Not quite enough to take it down, um, but f really, uh, really damaging it. Uh, um, then. So he's kind of in this square right here. Yeah. And the, the two of them can attack him, but they can't get through. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of close okay. off that area. Okay. Unless they bolt rush. <laughs> and that'd be a dickish thing. You're also a pretty big, tough half orc, so. Make All right. Try. Golmox, what's Golmox doing? Um, I think he's kind of like six of them. Uh, he's kind of looking back at the oracles, like, do we go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not a total coward. He'll just he'll stand there and uh, maybe he'll put away his his uh, other weapon and pull out his short bow. Okay. Move five foot so he can get an angle to shoot through the opening. Sure. Okay, so he gets himself ready. Is he going to shoot? Or I think Jared would see him do that and say, no, piercing does. It'll do nothing to them. He's like, oh, damn. Okay. Then okay. something Column. else happens. And... Five, Six. By the door. Okay. Running around and looking in to the north there. Where are our handouts? And let's see here. Vargosh. You recognize what's up there. <sighs> no doubt drawn to the sound of combat. Now allow me to this here. Nope. Add a turn. And they are acting on 14. That brings their turn to a close. So. Halwyn's up next. What's Halwyn doing? Uh, I think she glances at Vargosh holding the door and she sees those guys and she's going to rush the portcullis. Okay. Make sure we don't get trapped in here. Yep, yep. So, um, this would be... Two, one, two, three, four... That's Five, 15? six would put her... Yeah, if she goes straight in there, she'd get to them. Oh, oh wait, she's got to move a... Tw no, she wears leather armor, right? 
And she only has leather, so she's got 30 move. She's got a 30 move. Yep, so she can make, because uh, you can go from here right to there. Okay, that's her. So that's her normal move. Okay. What if she like? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Right to there. Hopefully, doesn't get impaled by the porcelain. And she's gonna swing. Here it comes. I Come on, Halman. Halman. Oh, and she gets plus two to hit from the charge. If she's charging. Uh, I think she's just moving. Okay. If she's charging, I was just going to charge her to that spot out there. Would that make a difference? Because like, then she'd be outside the portals, right? Mm, I don't think she has enough move to get there. She had 30 to get because of the diagonals. Right, but so this is 30 move just to get there. Oh, right, because charge, charge, she can move more. Charge extra long. She can yep. move farther. Yep, yep, yep. I could, yeah, she could put right there. Yep. So, yeah, she charges to there. She gets a plus two attack bonus. And... Minus two to AC, right? Power attack. Hold on. Let's get that up. Here we go. Not flanking. So attack bonus is two minus one for the um, power attack. Oh, and she fumbles. Oh no. <laughs> So we're not playing with fumbles in the in this game. So she she misses, but does not uh, fumble. But oh, then she sees this thing in close with those ghostly eyes staring at her from underneath those desiccated robes. She could spend a, a point of astonishing fortune if she wants. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay. So that puts us down to two of four. Yep. Can't spell. <laughs> Astonish in. <laughs> I'm stuck there. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay uh, no flank. Oh, that would have been good damage. That would have been good damage. This thing is very, very nimble. So it <sighs> seems to move with an unnatural grace. All right, then it is uh, Zomboid's turn. I only have two that can actually hit you. One of them is going to you're going to have cover against two, just because it's attacking on an angle, or at least partial cover. Uh, so that one's going to miss, and then the second one. Oh, 18 hits. Uh, you take six points of damage. And the others are just. Oh my God, you died. <laughs> there we go. All right, and the others are just sort of like uh, pushing up against, like crushing and trying to reach over to get to you. Uh, then it is Boldo's turn. What's Boldo doing? Boldo is going to try and turn undead. Okay. It's desperation. He's like, yep. Uh... Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, so first thing is roll to see um, how what's the highest hit dice he can affect. Is there a turn? Button? I think it's under um, the spells tab. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's near the bottom, maybe, of the spells tab. Yeah, I'm still scrolling. Okay. Let's see where right. abilities. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Where is he? Uh, Boldo. Here we go. Character sheet. Uh, oh yeah, maybe they, it's it may have moved. Uh, Get on here. I see his spell lists. Skills. Maybe. Oh, he's got it's under skills now. Turn oh, okay. Check. There we go. Yep. Turning level so turn. one. Charisma modifier zero. Turn damage. Look at that. Pretty awesome. So go ahead and give us a... Oh, maybe ch check on full turn check. I wonder if that rolls everything all at once. Yeah, it does. Nice. So unfortunately, because of the maximum hit dice is only a one, uh, it's not... That is awesome how that displays, too. Man, great sheet now. It's a good sheet before, but this is even better. So yeah, 
he raises up to St. Yig. He sells a standard action and he has a move if he cares. Now, is that something? Or sorry, that... yes, a, I'm sorry, a move and a, and a uh, swift action. So that first roll, that's a d20. Is that something he can? Yes, he a... can. Re yeah, he can spend astonishing fortune to re-roll that. It will be quite hard for him down here. These things have, uh, like, oh yeah, he noticed that they were hard to turn. Yeah, like the barrel mage specifically makes, makes it harder for for uh, clerics to turn undead. Okay, uh, no, let's not waste it again. Okay, he's done two out of three. Yep. Um, and that was his. That's a move action. That's a standard action to turn. That's a standard action to yeah, turn. Yeah, so he's okay. got a move and he's got a swift. Swift are like exceptional things. It's usually like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think all his spells are move or uh, standard action, so he will okay. just move closer to Hallwin. I think. Okay, I'm coming. All right, Jared. Jared's gonna slap another heel on on Vargosh. Vargosh. Okay. And he could as a move action. Uh, Use uh, dark knowledge if you chose to. Oh, um, okay, yeah, let's do that first. Okay. Um, that's in his skills. Knowledge, religion. Oh, weak sauce. Oh, you want to spend astonishing fortune? Uh, he needs a fifteen to, to identify it. He has a plus eight. Yeah, he's yeah, got a good. huge. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Jared's uh, chewing up astonishing fortune like a, th a lunch. So he looks over and as a move action, he just kind of quietly whispers, Oh no. Uh, he still has a standard action and he still has a. Uh, yeah, that's it. And he can take a five foot step. Okay. Um, What's he going to do? Standard action will be casting. Okay. We'll use his cure light. Another six. Back okay. To Vargas. So Vargas gets six back. Nice. So <laughs> wash of power goes over him. Uh, does he want to take a step? Uh. No, I think he'll stay there. Vargas's turn. Just take down that one that's injured is quite badly injured. Come on, Vargosh. Take him down. Nice. Yep. One down. You know, cleave. Now you could five foot step and avoid that cover bonus. Remember that one on the angle has got the cover. Bonus to you. Do you want to step into that room and, and finish your cleave? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take three attacks next round. That's only if you fail. I lost track of where I was clicking. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Minus one. Oh, yeah. Solid. Oh, but not quite enough to take it all the way down. Okay. Uh, then it is Golmox's turn. What's Golmox doing? Uh, he can't help Vargosh. The other two are running that way. He'll follow them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. You see, there are three of those robed figures. I guess he could be on more left than not. But it doesn't matter. Okay, he gets there. He can't quite get to swing anyway. Uh, I mean, he has his bow out right now anyway. Oh, yeah. He could take a so shot he if he likes. Take a shot. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's got point blank shot, so he doesn't get a bonus to hit, but... But he can shoot at the one that's uh, here. Yep, absolutely. Not, not in melee. Okay. No attribute was found for goal mass. Hireling weapon. Thirteen. 
Yep, there we go. Uh, that misses, unfortunately. Ooh. Oof, then it is these things turn. So the one facing... Oh, okay. Uh, it actually doesn't attack with its staff. It instead kind of holds it back and ah, slashes at Halwyn ah, with these long and uh, yellowed claws. Nat 20. So let's roll for confirming 20 plus. Uh, it's not a great chance to hit. So uh, she has a 15 right now, I think, right? Yeah. Does not confirm crit. So there's that. Then uh, she takes three points of damage. And then I need a fortitude save from her, please. Sink rakes across her, maybe like along her neck. Yeah. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, then the others, let's see here. One, two, we'll get another one in on her. And then Hel Helwyn can take a attack of opportunity as another runs forward. That's going to yeah. have to move past its ally. Yeah, okay. She actually tags it. However, she's certain she connected with this thing. Her axe does not seem to make any mark on this thing's toughened hide. What the hell? Then the one facing her right now. Yay! Misses, misses, misses with a claw. Yay. And again, it seems these claws is what they're going for. And then the, I guess the last one will attack uh, Boldo. What's Boldo's AC? Hmm. I rolled a 16. I think that's probably good enough to hit him. Yep. Uh, Boldo? Boldo's only got an 11. Oof. Okay. Boldo takes three points of damage. I need a fort save from him, please. And then it is Halwyn's turn. Bolo got a 21 on a fort save. Oh, fantastic. Yep, no problem. So he, he's, again, it scratches along his arm this time. He's like, what? Um, then it is, so Howen, Howen's up next. What's she doing? She's going to power attack the one that's in front of her. Okay. These have proven quite tricky to hit thus far. They're oh. very nimble. Well, that and she's rolling crap. So. Okay. A seven's not going to help. No. Ugh, swings at this thing. Nowhere close. Zomboid time. Yay. So we got no, no one's getting an angle on you. So uh, let's see here. I need uh, that's a miss with the first one. Second one, you kick it back. Uh, third one, you don't get hit by any of them. Battery on the side. Holding the door. Boldo, you're up next. What are you doing? Uh, what does Boldo do? <laughs> like, These Boldo, things are clearly not alive. Okay. Um, does Boldo have any cure spells left? Spells, spells, spells. Yeah. He the reason I ask is because remember that cure spells can be delivered as attacks on undead things that are. Oh, and it's only a touch, touch AC. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's got. That's odd. There's an S in Cure Light. Oh, because he uh, doesn't have any spell, first level Cure Light spells prepared, but he can convert. Yes, he can. Yep. So I will convert his protection from evil. Okay. To a Cure Light wound. Okay. <laughs> he's going to reach out. So, oh, and for, actually, so because this thing's engaged with him, he would need to make a uh, concentration check to defensive okay. cast, or he'd draw an attack of opportunity. So concentration? Uh, it's a skill in uh, 3.5, so it should be under yeah. there. And I think it's, it's a first level spell, so I think it's a DC 16 is what he's rolling against. Yeah, it's defensive casting, isn't it? Uh, okay. Two's me, not going to do it. Let me make sure that this... I think that's, that's for sure a fail, but let me just make sure I'm not... Concentration checks. Uh, then he has to make an attack roll. Uh, 
Okay, I want to check one thing here. I, I want to make sure I'm not giving him the bad thing. Yes, so let's see here. I want to see what the failure uh, effect is too. So concentration. Uh, yeah, D DC of defensive casting is 15 plus the spell's level. So, and then on a fail, what happens? Spell, okay, hold on here. If his checks fails, the action automatically fails and is wasted. So he does have a class level. You have one point of Astonishing Fortune left. You could, in theory, re-roll that if you like. What was his bonus to with, with Concentration? Only plus one? Plus zero. So he would have known how crappy he is at that. Here, The way it works with um, damage is if you're hit, you don't automatically lose the spell. You make Then you make a Concentration check of 10 plus the damage you take. So if he tries to cast a spell there to reach out and grab the guy, he knows, A, he's got to make this crazy hard constitution check then he has to make an attack roll to grab it yep yeah that doesn't sound like he would uh no okay no that was super hard but okay. he would have taken a five foot step behind Golmox. yep and maybe he casts uh one of his other spells where he doesn't have to worry because if he's out of range he doesn't have to make a check right uh, that's correct. Uh, and then also he could hold the spell as well, too, if he wants. So if he is going well, to... I think he's, he's going to cast Bless and give everybody a bonus. Nice. Okay. Yep. We can use some bonuses. Right sure. Now. <sighs> so who's affected? 50, 50 feet? Cries out to St. Yig. I think it should be everybody, everybody. right? Yep. Everybody nice. Yep. All right. Then it is Jared's turn. What's Jared doing? Jared's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only said in a much higher pitch. Uh, hmm. He's only got one more cure light left. Bargosh is okay for now. Uh, Jared will. Drop his or put, can he put his torch down on the ground as a move action? Uh, he can uh, as a move action. Yeah. Then just give us a percent or a, a d20 roll. See if it goes up. Yeah. No, it stays open. Okay. Uh, so then he has a standard action. Um. He probably would have the crossbow not loaded. Yeah. Or would we? What did we say before? We, yeah, he wouldn't have the crossbow. Can't travel with it loaded. Right, because it could go off. So uh, he will start loading the crossbow to so shoot next. Well, he'd have to retrieve it first, right? Because uh, I think... I think well, we might have gone through this last time. But readying a weapon. Oh, he doesn't have a base attack once of one, probably. Does he? Or did he's level two already? I thought that um, clerics get a... Yeah. B.A.B. Oh, he does have a... Base attack roll. Yeah, I thought so. So he can get the yeah. So he's got it out as a uh, part of a move action. Oh, but he didn't, he didn't move though. What did he do with his move action? Oh, placing the thing down. Yeah, yeah. So he, I, I don't think he can like if you're literally moving, you can then take it as part of that. So he'd have to get his crossbow out this turn. Okay. So okay. he gets crossbow. All right, Vargosh. You gonna carve your way through some more of these? Yeah, he was hoping we would. Cure. Do something about it. But okay. We got sprung from behind. Come on, Vargosh. Big heads. So on the wounded one. Yep. Come on. Yes. Even though there's a garbage roll, cleave is triggered. Go ahead, and make your second attack. Come on, Vargosh. Show us how it's done. That hits, and that is almost enough to take it down. Oh gosh. All right, uh, then it is, unless Volgarsh has anything else, it is Golmox's turn. What's Golmox doing? I think, um, I think Vargosh is going to five foot step back. Okay, let me move you so you're just able Kinda to see both there. Oh. There you go. Okay. Okay, uh, then yeah, Golmox, what's Golmox doing? Uh, he's going to swing at the one 
to the bottom. Okay, so he has a bow out right now. He'd have to drop his uh, bow and then draw a weapon. Right. Um, he can do that, and, and drawing a weapon doesn't draw attack of opportunity. Yeah, he'll do that. He'll drop his bow, and he'll swing with the club. Go ahead. Sure. Come on. Go, Mox. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does that include his bless? No, I didn't. Then that the is a hit. <laughs> And it is, again, it's just like um, with her, it's like hitting a solid, um, you know, like a solid chunk of, uh, of maybe uh, petrified wood, but some of that gets through. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, then it is these things turn. All right, so once again, tries to reach out and now uh, try and scratch Golmox. What's Golmox's AC? Uh, Golmox AC 13. I rolled a two. Uh, so it, it scratches at him and he's able to keep a distance. Like, oh, oh pointing with that uh, uh, bow of his, or the bow, the club Helwyn. And he has 15 to hit her now. Let's see here. Oh, one of them comes so close, like is about to get her and she slams that shield up to get it in the way. And the second one misses as well too. Oh, so she's able to live another day. Then, speaking of which, Helwyn, what's she doing? Um, I think she's gonna five foot step and swing. Okay. Good call. Good call. Come on, Helwyn. Oh, I it's a 14 with the blast, but she still missed. 14 with the blast. Okay, so yeah. Uh, then, Zomboids. Uh, so they are all going to yeah, surge forward with a five foot step. And we got two, only two on you this time. Uh, neither of them hits either. You're able to keep both of them at a, at a distance. Boldo. Um. Now, Vargosh, you know, you can see what's going on over there. Uh, you know that these things, the, the zombies, move extremely slowly. Yeah. You've seen them before. Vargosh. Far no, it's not his turn. Um, who is this? Boldo. Did he cast Bless last turn? Yeah, I'm just... Um... You know what? He's going to try, now that he's back five feet, can he cast the heal spell and take a five-foot step forward and try to attack? Uh, well, no, because uh, the casting the spell is a standard action. But next round, he could take a five-foot step to get in. He wouldn't take an attack of opportunity if he was moving in anyway. Uh, right? Like it's only when you're moving out of a threatened square. No, but, so you can't cast in five-foot step? And no, then because it's... Uh, uh, oh, because the casting is a standard action. Spell. Exactly. Can he hold the healing spell, like, in his yep. hand or something? Absolutely. Okay. So he will cast the healing spell and prepare to step forward next round. Okay. His hand is glowing with radiant energy. He's using uh, protection from evil for that. Oh, nice. Okay. And then it is Jared's turn. What's Jared doing? Um, Jared's like, I don't know what to do, Bargosh. I'm going to go over there and help them. You look good. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, and load his crossbow. Uh, yep, so it's standard. It, it's actually a full round action to load the crossbow. Oh, so he has to stay there and load it. If, if he wants, yeah. I mean, he could spend a move next turn to finish loading the crossbow and then fire. So I'll move this turn and I'll move next turn? Yep. Okay, so he'll move and load. Okay, start getting it ready, okay. Uh, then Vargosh. Everyone's favorite half orc is trying not to die. Shit, so that one that's on an angle is gonna have uh, cover. Well, let's start okay. there. Okay. No power attack. Just 
just trying to hit it. <sighs> you have one point of astonishing fortune left. Fortune favors. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do it. Nice. Here we go. Come on, roll 20. Give us some gold here. These are fairly easy to hit, too. Not not one easy to hit. Oh, oh because... Oh, wait, does that include your bless? No, I did not put the bless in. So that would be 12. 12 is just good enough to tag it. Go ahead and rake your cleave attack. Okay, add the bless. Add the bless. Power attack is minus one. Bless is plus one. Power attack bonus, two. Holy... <laughs> All right, not enough to, to take this one down yet, but that's a huge hit. Uh, oh, and then he's going to... Run back. Okay. So it's only so, one attack of opportunity I get here. Yeah! And it misses you. I can't move off the thing. Oh my god, you're stuck. There you go. No, I'm stuck. No, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> So, uh, five, five six. and 15. And he's like, Jared, get to safety. Well, you know, he can't attack anymore, so he'll just stay there. Okay. Uh, then it is Goldmox's turn. What's Goldmox doing? He did a little bit of damage to this thing last time. Yeah, he did some damage. He's going to have to try and do more. Okay. Goldmox. Swing for the fences, Wilmots. Come on, Golmox. Get your hit in That's here. Less in. Oh. One again. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, so that last hit, I think, numbed his arm a little bit. Uh, so when he swings yeah. this time too, it's just clumsy. He's a little tentative now. Yep, now it's these time. Okay, so the one fighting uh, Golmox will do that first. Uh, nat 20, and it was gonna go on a two. It teetered onto a two and then fell back to a nat 20. So let's see here, I think I got the same one here. So Golmox has a 13, and he 13 to confirm a crit. <laughs> All right, so let's do this here. Four. Uh, okay. That's two. Golmox takes four points of damage. I rolled minimum damage on that. Rakes along his arm, leave bloody um, streams across his forearm. And now I need a save uh, versus a fortitude save from him, please. Oh, oh no. Okay, so I'm going to mark down something about Golmox. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Then... Uh, the one facing Hale win. Yeah, 20 again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, let's see here. I gotta get my d20 roll. God dang, I'll start rolling that one and roll one of my other d20s. Here we go. Confirming crit. Let's see. No, not confirmed crit. So she only takes. Uh, that is five points of damage and she needs another fortitude save as well. And then the other sees you coming, I guess. One, two, three, four. He's gonna run over here and try and get you, Vargosh. Ooh, 17 is a hit. Uh, so, Vargosh? Oh, oh no, Halewind fails as well. Put her name down. Uh, Vargosh, you take three points of damage, and I need a save, uh, fortitude save from you, please, too. Come on. Fargosh. You got this. I'm not gonna make it on Halewind Sheet. I need to... <laughs> <laughs> More to my sheet. Yeah. <laughs> 27. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right. Then it is Halewind's turn. What's she doing? Uh... And you took the three points of damage for Vargosh, too? Yep. Yep, okay. So, uh, Hailwind's turn. What's she doing? 
she doesn't seem like the retreating type, but she's also getting shit kicked and she ha can't hit this thing. Something, something about it, it, she just can't seem to hit it. Yeah, yeah. So I think she's going to withdraw okay. down the hall. Okay. I don't uh, know, it's like, is it one so third? Here. Yeah, withdraw, I think it's a full round of action. Let's see here. Withdraw, withdraw. 94. Okay. Full round action, when you withdraw, you can move up to double your speed and the square that you started in does not uh, attract, uh, attract attacks of opportunity. Double your speed. Okay. Yeah, so she can move uh, 12 squares. Okay, so... Um, I two. Okay, so the uh, thing is, she would want to go... Uh, sorry, she would actually want to go here and then run because otherwise she would get a it's tag. Still a, yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah, right like, here would uh, get an attack opportunity. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can't see beyond that, so. so she's run to the edge of the light. She's running for the hills. Okay. Then zomboids. Two, three, four, yeah, one. Two, three, four, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. They can't attack uh, yet. Boldo, what are you doing? Um, He's got that glowing spell in his hand. Yeah, I think he's going to step up and takes a five-foot step, and he's going to try and make his uh, attack on that creature. Yep, touch attack. Okay, yeah. so I think I think I think it's just his, his base attack bonus is zero uh, because uh, he's a cleric first level. Does he have any strength bonus? He has a strength plus one. Okay, so one d twenty plus one, I guess. It's the same as his rolling his club, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, that would be then. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, come on, Boldo. Solid hit. One d eight plus one, please. As he hits this thing. Whoa, boy. It flares up and kind of runs through this thing like um, a brilliant white lightning and <laughs> cries out in pain as it's hit. Jared sees this and suddenly gets an idea. Jared's turn. What's Jared doing? Jared's idea is he can do the same thing. <laughs> what is Jared's is Jared? uh, concentration bonus? Um, I don't think it's very good. I think he would probably do the same thing. Move away. Yep, step back. Step, Move away, cast the spell here. Okay. And hold it. Okay. Uh, he's got... Uh, he's only got... Oh, that's a boulder sheet. Jared. This is a little trickier, folks, managing uh, five characters. Yeah. <laughs> Jared has one cure light left, so okay. uh, he's got zero cure light. All right, <laughs> glowing in his hand. Um, then Vargosh, what are you doing? Uh, Vargosh is going to swing at that zomboid that just moved in on him. Okay, the injured one? Yeah. Okay, go right ahead. Come on, get him down. Yes. Life. Now you can cleave to either of those two opponents. Um, I think he'll cleave the zomboid. Zomboid, okay. He knows he can damage those. Yeah, properly. yeah. The dead devotees are not. Uh, I guess you say dead devotees is probably a better word for it. Not twenty. Ah, oh, but no. Yeah, crit's not. Uh, now does that. You're not missing any kind of damage bonus here, right? One and six. Three is his strength bonus plus half. Dang. Okay, so yeah, solid hit, unfortunately, because it's not a not subject to crits. <clears throat> this thing staggers back, nearly falling apart. Um is that it for you, or do you want to take a five foot step? Yeah, he's gonna take a five foot step to protect Jerry. You got it. <laughs> yeah, good call. Golmox is up next. What's Golmox doing? Uh, he's gonna wail on that one that's that just got flamed. Okay. 
with the radiant spell. Yep. And or does he flee? Hmm. He runs. <laughs> okay. So he'll go five there, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. Oh, he's bringing the torch there. with him. You know what? Then give, let me do this. To uh, well, actually, you know, you're gonna be able to stay with Vargosh anyway, so I won't bother. But shit, he's really booking it. Yeah, I would have thought Helwyn would have kept running, but she didn't have light, right? Yeah, yeah. So he goes running by. Then, oh man, he goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, fifty, sixty-five. 70. <laughs> I think he'll, stop. he'll stop there because he doesn't want to run too far away from the rest. Yep. All right. Now it is the dead votees' turn. Um, one of them comes racing at Halwyn, now illuminated by her fleeing companion. He is charging, so he gets plus two to hit on this as well, too. He'll be easier to hit next time if she survives this attack. Let's see. 18 uh, plus two is... 20. No, plus 4. 22. Because of the charge. Okay, and then... 5 points of damage. Once again, slash with these talons. And she drops down. Shit. Alright, I need a fort save. Oh, you know, she's already failed, so don't worry about it. Um, then, the one facing Boldo is going to try and... Uh, you know, its eyes flare, flare up red, and it runs those claws across him. 15, does that hit Boldo? Yeah, he's only got an AC 11. Ugh. Boldo is hit for five points of damage. He's on that cusp right now, and I need a fort save from him. I don't think he's been affected yet. And then Vargosh. Nice, a fort save for Golma, or us Golmox. There's uh, Boldo. 11 is not good enough. Wow, nice save from Boldo. The blessing of St. Yigas keeping him alive. Uh, then it is, it is, it is um, Halwyn's turn. So I need a percentile roll from you. She's got 10% chance of stabilizing. No, she loses one hit point. All right, then it is uh, Zomboid's turn. Shambling up. That's all they're doing. Wait, did I only need a five foot step for one of those? Right. Both yeah, those. The, the, the wounded guy hit, hit me. Okay, so he comes out. No, eight is not going to do it. Boldo. Boldo, if he takes a standard action, he drops to minus one. He can take a standard action, then drop to minus one, or he can just take move or free actions. Can he withdraw? Uh, withdraw is a full round action, so he could withdraw, but then he'd drop down at minus one yeah. at the end of that. I think he'll do that. <laughs> um, take a five foot step. Okay. That's it. Okay, then is Jared's turn. Jared has that healing spell powered up in his hand right now. Be gone, creature! Nice. Go ahead and give us a touch attack. He gets that sweet bonus to hit because of his size, too. That is... Does not include the blast bonus, right? No. Then he hits. Uh, ah! 1d8 plus 2. Come on. That lightning plus courses through this, and where the it was, uh, that red light in its uh, empty sockets where its eyes once were, it blazes very briefly with gradient light, boom, and falls down, lifeless once more. Uh, Jared, nicely done. Vargosh, what are you doing? Uh, Vargosh is going to try and take out that Zomboid. Okay. The injured one, I take it? Yeah, the injured yep. one. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, easy. Cleave is triggered. Would you like to go after? Zomboid or? No. Yeah, they'll kill the Zomboid again. Okay. You can. Come on. That does not include his Bless. No, I included the Bless this time. Oh, such a narrow miss. Let me double check. Is it 11? Yes, yeah, just barely misses. All right, then it's Golmox's turn. He was um, fleeing. He sees Halwyn cut down by this thing, and it turns and looks towards him. Like, mm. Steeled <laughs> by his fallen comrade, he runs back in. No! Now, if he charges back in, he gets plus two to hit, and this thing's AC is down by two right now because it charged last round. He'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um, and he's going to swing for the fences. He's got to put everything behind it. Bomox just... There we go. Come on. Now, I'm just going to check his sheet. I'm pretty sure he has power cap. Yeah. Yes. So, weapon. Club. Not flanking. Attack bonus. So, he has okay. power attack and bless. So, that's a zero. Get Do off I of her! Do I put something in for, or do you take an adjustment on the AC? I make an adjustment for AC. Because I'm only putting power attack and plus in here. Do I put the plus two from the charge? No, no I'll, I'll uh, account for, oh yeah, you put the plus two for charge. Okay. Because so. I've also got to reduce its AC by two for its charge. Oh, he rolled an eight. Weak. <clears throat> Sadly, just... not quite uh, good enough. Uh, so he gets in and tries, but it's just a little bit too quick for him. Uh, let's see. Then it turns to him. Yeah. Let's see if it's a bit of a moment of bravery costs him. Golmox's AC is a, normally a 13, right? So he gets down to 11 right now. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Oh, he misses. Yeah. He, whoa. Ducks out of the way, and then Probably the one expecting Golmox to come running back. Yeah, then the one uh, facing you, uh, Vargosh. It actually is going to shift, so it's flanking. Or take a five foot step, and then, and then, and then four. Still is not good enough to actually get in on you, even with that extra advantage. Hellwin, give us a percentile roll. Nope, uh, minus five. Then Zomboid. It's now flanking you, Vargosh. Yeah. Ooh, that might hit. 15, 17, does that hit you? Uh, yeah, he's got AC okay. 16. So you avoid that, that uh, the, um, what do you call it? Yeah, the um, a dead votee. Uh, five points of damage. <laughs> Claw rakes along your back. Uh, and then it is Bulldo's turn. Bolo um, could... He, can he cast a Cure Minor? Yeah, he can, actually, because, uh, I mean, he would drop... Technically, he, he's supposed to drop to minus one at the end of the round. I think you can cast that. Let me see here. Uh, healing. Here we go. Injury Hero. Healing and Death. Yeah, so unless the act increased the disabled creature's hit points, it now has negative hit points. So actually, uh, you don't take that damage if it... Uh, oh, no, you still take... You know what? It would put him back in the same place. Okay, so he still has a Sanctuary spell left. He could cast a Cure Minor Wounds on himself. Well, the thing is, is, so here's the way it reads, is that um, you immediately deal... When you take the, the exertion of taking the standard action, you deal one point of damage after the completion of that act. Unless the act uh, de in increases the disabled creature's hit points, it now has negative hit points and is dying. So you still would take the... You'd be back at, at a, zero. He has a cure light, though. He has a sta sanctuary level oh. one. He could convert to get himself back up. Yes, then absolutely. He could... Uh, yeah, he definitely can do that then. 
Sorry, Dave, I was talking over you and <laughs> not listening. Oh, that's okay. I initially had said minor, but then I realized he also had a level one. Spell oh, level, nice. So. Okay. So he's got three. So he has two hit points right now. Two hit points left. <sighs> no longer down and out. Love it. Then it is Jared's turn. Uh, Jared's turn. Jared has this thing in his face. Um... Uh, Jared's going to take a five foot step. Okay. Raise the crossbow that he had loaded last round, two rounds ago, three rounds ago. And uh, he's going to. I think he spent that standard action instead of loading, he cast that spell, didn't he? So he's still a standard action shy of finishing the load. Oh, right, because it's a full round action to Yeah. And actually, it's a move action is what he needs in order to finish loading. I think. Okay, so yeah, because he, he moved move there and he spent okay. a standard. He needs a move action to finish loading. Okay, so he five foot step. Yep. But you can't do a five foot step if you do a move action. Uh, you can't do a five foot step if you move with your move action. So he could do this five foot step, shunk, finish loading finish it, loading. and then poof, fire and if then he shoot wants. It, shoot at this one over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is in melee technically, so it's minus four to hit. Jared? Live dangerously. Yep. Yeah, and he doesn't know what the hell these things are. Either. Minus three. So he's got a plus, plus one, minus four, so minus three. Attack minus three, yep. Doesn't get power attack. Come on, Jared. Come on. Come on Jared. See that 20. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Goes a little wild. Vargas. Would have been some solid damage. Though. Speaking of a little wild, Vargas, what are you doing? Um, try to end the zombie attack. Come on. It was so close last time, too. Okay, here we go. Solid hit. Unfortunately, not enough to get down. And then it's oh, you hack at these things and these damn things, like what would be mortal wounds on other things would uh, be... Not taking these damn things down. Is that it for Vargosh? Yeah, I took a five foot step to get between them and. You got it. Golmox! Okay. What's he doing? Helwyn is on the ground, bleeding out, and he's facing this uh, dead votee. Um, Golmox, Golmox. Equipment. Just checking to see if he has a potion sure. or something on him. He does not. He knows that. Yeah. So he is going to swing again. Come on, Goldmox. Make a count. Big hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> nice! Oh, once again. Boom! It's undead. And he's not wielding a magical weapon, but man, is he bringing that to thing. A crack. You guys, you can hear it, uh, Vargosh, from here, from where he hits solidly with that thing. Uh, then it is the return. So it knocks to the side, and this thing slashes at him. I only need an 11 to hit him. <laughs> well, he's not, he didn't charge this round, so it should be a 13 still. It is a 13, so I need it, but I got plus two to hit, so I just need to roll oh, an 11. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, it is a hit, unfortunately. He takes three points of damage. <sighs> and Gomox is already on the list, so he oh, thump, hits the ground. Um, this thing will then turn and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it races over to where Jared is. Hellwin, which uh, percentile roll? Down to minus six. Jeez. Zomboid. Yeah. Comes for you once again, uh, Vargosh. A two will not do it. Bulldoze up next. Um, he will take a five foot step. Okay. And one, that's five. Okay, no, he can't take a five foot step if he's moving, right? That's right, yeah. 
Uh, so take a five foot step. No. Yeah, he'll take. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take a this five game foot is so step, good. <laughs> and he will. Lomax, you're dead or dying. Um, Boldo, take a five foot step. And hey, all so he has if, if it, what he wants to do is move over, remember he could withdraw and move double his move. Oh, right. So he could do that. Yep. So he'll withdraw. 5, yep. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's got lots of moves still. He'll stop between the two wounded. Okay. Um, Next round, he could try and uh, stabilize. All right. Then it is Jared's turn. What's Jared doing? Uh, Jared. Spells. He's got no first level spells left. And the Cure Miners would only do one point, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. And he'd yeah. draw an attack of opportunity or whatnot. He could drop his, um, what he called his uh, crossbow as a free action and draws mace and make an attack if he wants. Chances of no. damaging this thing seems pretty dire, but. I think he's going to bug out too. Sorry, Vargas, but you're kind of on your own. Okay, so he can move eight squares. Can't well, move him for some reason. Oh, he's probably on the pole. So that oh. he'd have to go here uh, to not draw an attack of opportunity. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay. 40. All 45. right. Vargosh, you are surrounded. What are you doing? Jared's moving to okay. here. Okay, I'll move that uh, turn over here. Argosh is going to attack the... Um, Zomboid? Zomboid. Okay. Let me go. Come on. They hit you up. Down it goes. He just covered in necro uh, necrotic gore at this point. Uh, you can cleave through to that thing if you like. There we go. Oh, it, it deeks out of the way. Uh, you could five foot step if you like. Yeah, he yeah. will five foot step up. Okay. And, and and try and yell at this one. Try and scream at them both, like, ah, I kill yeah. you, zombies. The um, one that is near you there that you, you're sort of yelling at, that's running over from, uh, you know, with the lifeblood of your allies on it, it says yeah. in this, like, hissing whisper, You will make a powerful servant. And uh, Vargas yells, Flee the barrel maze. <laughs> Uh, then it is Golmox. Oh, so we have Golmox a percentile roll. Golmox. See if he stabilizes. Come on. No. Down to minus two. Uh, then it is these things. So, first one, a five foot step in here and make an attack on you. Uh, that miss is an 11 is a miss. And the other one is going to maneuver itself around. I believe they call that pulling of Vargosh. So it gets the <laughs> flanking bonus here. You will serve us. But you're sweeping that sword back and forth and keeping him at a distance. Uh, then it is Hellwin, another percentile roll. Nope, minus seven. And then Zomboids are gone. I can get rid of them. Boldo, what's he doing? Uh, Boldo is here. He will cast a Cure Minor on Hellwin. <laughs> she is stabilized. So she gets minus six now. Uh, Jared? Uh, Jared will cast... Boldo uh, could move can, as well, too. I just am skipping through. So, Can, can he help drag Halewin? Uh, I'd let um, Boldo kind of grab Halewin, yeah. Okay. I don't know if he can drag her. Next round, he could. It would have to be a move action. Just like interact okay. with the object. It only, okay. in this yeah. case, it's the unconscious body of your ally. And yeah, then, uh, Jared? Gonna, uh, um, Do you have a minor left? I'm taking Boldo's spell off. 
Uh, Jared also has three miners. So he will cast one on Goldmount. Okay. <laughs> so he's now stabilized. Yeah, and at minus one, one as well. <laughs> he keeps dying. <laughs> Dang it, I cast that to cause miner. Had this thing switch to damage instead. And and Jared, I guess, is trying to lift him up. Vargosh! Here it comes, facing those things that came for you oh so many days ago that disturbed yeah. your nightmares when you were recovering from your last so thing. start with five foot step. Okay. And... Actually, no. Why would I, I? They don't. I don't have a penalty for standing between them, right? Nope. It just it, they're they get flanking against you. That's all. Right. Yeah. So I don't have a penalty. So uh, flanking no minus one. Plus there we one, go. Two, attacking the one above me. Okay. Come on, Vargosh. Big hit. Oh yes, <laughs> nice. All right. Now, did uh, oh, that includes uh, bless? So that is. Whew, and they were not kidding. Now your um, your sword is not enchanted, right? It is not enchanted. It is not enchanted. Okay. <sighs> you slam into these things, and they are uh, you, uh, pull back. It should have cut down a living man, uh, but it yeah. still lives. And then for a move action, no, I think I'll just five foot step. Okay. Make me. <laughs> All right, then, uh, so Golmox... back, I said, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Golmox has stabilized these things again. Jared's One. like, I'm, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> He's trying to push this big guy up. <laughs> All right, uh, now they would be leaving behind the shield, the axe, and the club unless they're spending a round collecting that crap. I think they'll just start dragging. Okay, uh, so the one that moves In up... Fact, so if Jared, uh, Jared, no, oh yeah, never mind. Okay, do your thing with these guys. Okay, uh, so here we go. Uh, so Jared, if we're, in terms of speed, I'd reduce him to fifteen uh, per but if turn. Jared can, uh, yeah. Well, Jared and Goldmox each cast a cure minor, or Gold, Boldo and Jared each cast a cure minor on Goldmox. He can get up and walk. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the one that moved up behind you again. Yeah. Rakes up with its claws. Oh, that hits. You take... Oop, where is that going? Uh, you take four points of damage. And I uh, need a fort save from you again, please. And then the one on the other side. Yeah, 17. That's uh, 19 and it's flanking. Nice, that fork save is successful. Go ahead and give us one more, and easily, both of those are shaken off. You take four points of damage from that second one. Oh. Jeepers. Then it is. Hailwind is stabilized. Boldo. What's he doing? Uh, he's the cleric. He'll think of this. He casts Cure Minor on Golmox. <laughs> He's at zero. He <laughs> coughs and gets awake. But if he exerts himself, he will die. Then Jared. He casts Cure Minor on Bolo. <sighs> on uh, the Golmops. Okay, he's at one. Nice. Far gosh. Just taking the spell. Sure. These two um, dead votees left. Is drinking a potion uh, create uh, attack of opportunity? Uh, it does, yeah. Yeah. Right. Argosh will. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky. Uh, minus one for power attack. <laughs> Atta boy. The injured one. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. So that is 14 points of damage. You 
shatter this thing as you swing. It breaks apart like a mannequin. What do you say or scream as that thing falls to the ground? Um, you're the only one left. <laughs> and he's you... raising up his sword like he's about to swing again. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so he is it. A, we, I think we looked up last time. Is cleave adjacent to you or adjacent to target? It's adjacent to me. Yes. Make that cleave. Come on. Oh, that one falls short. Okay. However, I'm going to make a will save for this thing. All right. Golmox is up next. You're awake. Uh, Golmox should be at one hit point, actually. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Because that miner from uh, Jared. Must have did what I just did. Put a one in and didn't hit enter. And just moved my cursor. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Golmox is going to collect his crap. From okay. the ground. Yep, so minor, move action to get his stuff. He could do move action to stand up. And and he's like, why are we still standing here? <laughs> okay. There's the one with you, Vargosh. Um, and I made a will save for it. One, two, three, four, five, six... Halwin, or not Halwin, uh, Boldo gets an attack of opportunity here. Boldo. Boldo, emboldened, smacks with his club. Yeah, hits it, does not <laughs> do any damage, and then Jared gets an attack of opportunity as well. Uh, I don't think, actually, you know what, I don't think Boldo or Jared had weapons out. They didn't? Okay. No, so that actually didn't matter anymore. Okay, so then... Let's see, he's racing around you guys and trying to flee. Hailwin! It's stabilized, so I guess nothing. Uh, Boldo? Uh, he's going to cast his last tier minor on... Hail... No. On himself. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he'll just leave... It, maybe he'll just leave it, because he might need to get somebody up. Okay. You never know. Jared, what's Jared doing? Um, Jared's going to go, Bye! It was fun to fight with you. Too bad you're a loser. Vargosh, what are you doing? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And he'll drink a potion. You can move through your allies, remember. If you're trying to get a charge off on him, you absolutely can do that. No, nope, I need to drink a potion first. Okay, so I think you need to retrieve one first, though. Okay, so this round he is retrieving one of his healing, his only healing. Potions. Yeah, so see here. Um, yeah, retrieve a stowed item is a move action. Um, and then. Drink a potion is a standard action. So okay. you actually have to be doing it back where you were. So I could have to, I could move and... You could move and then spend your standard action to, as a move to draw the, the potion out. Okay, or I could move and drink right here. Yeah, let me see, let me see what it's described. I, I want to see if the standard action is actually, like if that includes the drawing the, the thing. Just to give you uh, full fairness here. Uh, actions in combat. Here we go. Dropping to the floor is a free action. Yep. <laughs> okay, standard action. Here we go. Potion, page 84. Let's see here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I think you have to retrieve it and then uh, drink it. So it would be uh, f standing there. Okay, but uh, yeah, or, you go, 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 go. Or, uh, or he could like move to here and pull it out. 
Yes. And he can drink it next round if he has to. As a standard action, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, then it is Golmox's turn. What's Golmox doing? Um, he's just kind of like maybe stowing his gear so he can help with Halen. Okay. There is an enemy right there. He does seem to yeah. be fleeing, but... Yeah, but uh, Golmox just got knocked down. He's not yeah, getting all that big. Yep. So go ahead and uh, move Golmox on, I guess. He's just going to move over to Halen and help uh, collect her stuff. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so this thing goes racing down the corridor, trying to get away from you guys. Uh, then it is Hailwind, still unconscious. Boldo, what's he doing? Is there like a healing to try and help her out or something? No, unless uh, she's got spells. Uh, okay. All. Um, Heal uh, skill uses are all for long term recovery. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I'm just checking everyone's sheets to see sure. if there's another potion here. Uh, Jared, I don't know if he used all of his. I think he might have one left. I only bought two. Uh, and incidentally, uh, you think there may have been uh, stuff in that room. Jared. There were alcoves in that uh, secret room that you opened there, Fargosh. Okay. Equipment, Jared. They don't have it written on Jared's sheet, but I do remember him buying two potions. Yeah, Maybe yeah, he had two potions before. I'm just going to check the front of this page. It's here. I mean, it was under, oh. it was under single-use items before. Oh, I was. Looking he at may him. have used them then. I don't see any left. They're not even written there. Yeah, so he, he must have used them last time. All right. I know he used one last time. I just can't remember if he used both. All right. So then what? Well, let's do this. First off, uh, we are way past our midway point. <laughs> you want to take a five-minute break? Go to the washroom, refresh your drink? Sure, that sounds good to me. Okay, sounds good. And then we'll, because uh, this thing is just going to, I'm assuming you're not going to chase after it. It's going to run off into the darkness. Well, <laughs> initially, Margosh's thought was, I'm going to stay close to it and I'm going to drink a potion and then I'm going to kill that fucking thing. <laughs> Does he want to? Uh, no, I think if it runs, like, it's totally running. He's just going to, like, hey guys, let's gather up our stuff and get out of here. But okay. then he's like, oh, wait a second. I saw some alcoves. Yeah, there were alcoves. So great. Well, we'll be back in a moment, folks. And uh, then we'll see what happens next.
All right, Anna says hi. Hello, Anna. I ain't a banana. All right. Then. Whew. Okay. Let me get, uh, since we're out of combat, I will remove all turns. Clear that we sucker. Have, we have one more potion, and I had a question. Uh, so when those guys first showed up, Jared did a dark knowledge check and failed. Does that mean he doesn't know those things ever, or does that just mean that he failed that time? And he, he just again needs to be later? exposed to them again, and then he can try again. Okay. Yeah. Good. So I... I use the potion off of Boldo's sheet, and Bargosh has one on his sheet, too. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, like, I erased the Boldo one when I drank, when it's about to drink Bargosh's potion. So we have a potion we can give Halwyn. Okay. And so be 1d8 plus 1. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Well, she's less dead right now. So there's that. All right. However. Uh, oh, and Vargas, you, you didn't roll for your potion yet, did you? No. Okay. But. Do you we, feed don't have enough, we don't have enough miners to get her up. We either carry her back on the sled and somehow winch her up, or we. Bargosh is like about to drink his potion. He's like, what? She didn't get up from that potion? Yeah. All right, here. He's his potion on Halloween. Okay. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Still not enough to get her up. But hold on. How many miners do you guys have left now? She's at minus two, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, Jared spells. I think he has one Because he two can't left. convert his either. He has to actually prep them as. Uh, the uh, archivist uh, doesn't have the ability to do that. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> he, he has two cure miners. Um, and Boldo. Do you have any left? Boldo can convert his uh, cantrips yeah. or orisons into... Uh, yeah. So Boldo can convert one to tech magic. And we can get her to plus one. <laughs> okay. With using all our spells. Let's do it. Get her up. So Boldo casts, converts his detect magic. Jared casts two cure miners. Okay. And we are all out. Everyone's all out of magic. <laughs> oh my no gosh. magic, no potions. <clears throat> She's at one hit point. So you saw... <clears throat> there was about 180 alcoves in that small area. What that means is, let's see here. How long does it take to search alcoves? Oh. Burial alcoves. Uh, it takes you basically one alcove per minute, and you can divide that amongst people. So there's about 180 to go through. There are five of you. Um, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It's about one and a half uh, random uh, potential random encounters. That again? One, uh, one and a half random encounters. You probably spent some time getting your everyone up here. That means there's probably going to be two random encounters that'll be triggered in that time. What do you think? Oh, potential random encounters because just the time duration. Because of the time duration. Every 20 minutes I roll for a random encounter. What do you think? Argosh tells Jared and the, and the group this. He's like... Uh, I don't think we leave empty-handed, but I don't think we go through them all. I got a plan. Follow me. He takes him into there, and okay. we're only going to do, like, is one minute per person? Yes. Okay, so he's going to... Ah, oh, shit, we just about killed ourselves. All that to, to just run away empty-handed? No way. We're going to search... 
uh, 10 minutes worth. Five people, that's only two each? No. That's, uh, <clears throat> so 10 minutes, it's one minute per alcove per person. So if there's five of you searching for one, uh, for 10 minutes, that's 50 alcoves you can get through. Okay, we're gonna do a quick ransack, 50 alcoves, and then we're gonna leave here, and he's gonna try, well, actually, first he's gonna try and put the portcullis down. Uh, if from... that lever puts the portcullis down, then we can lock, we can search some alcoves, and then we can leave with the portcullis down and hide that thing, hopefully nobody- well, You there. can also hide the, I mean, the, the secret door closes again, too. Oh yeah, there's that too. Yeah, okay, we'll just do 50 out of the 180. Okay. And then we're closing the secret door, putting the protocols down, and we're booking her. <laughs> okay. So then what you find... I got to put this in the party notes or something, because... Sure. Um... I'm going to mark for which uh, alcove has been searched here. Okay. Oh, boy. There's my restock one. Here we go. Search 50 out of 180 alcoves in secret room past the... Would you give me a percentile roll when you get a moment? That's the protocols. Percentile? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, so you find 30 silver pieces. I'm going to start putting this down somewhere. Dear party loot. Uh, your torches will go out as well. Okay, party loot. Oh, you said it's only 10 minutes though, right? 10 minutes? No, no, your torches will still be active. You just, you had just lit a new one. Okay, so... Let's see here. here. Hundred and sixty-three gold pieces, thirty silver. Okay. 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 Are we doing fifty D one hundreds? Because that's going to be a lot of gold. Sorry. Fifty D one hundreds. So that's a lot of gold. Fifty D one hundreds. What do you mean? We're searching fifty. No, that's in so total. That's in total what you found in that time. Okay. That's what you okay. found. The percentile was to see if there, there there may be something else in there of value, and there was a chance you might find that in that first search. You did not. And, and the group's like, we're we leaving? And? Are you? <laughs> Bargosh is a thief. He wants to stay, but he also doesn't want to die. Uh, anybody vote for leaving? Golmax, you don't get a vote. You're here, you're here because of paying you. The rest of you get a vote. Okay. Uh, Howen is, despite of dying, is fearless. So she's going to vote to stay. Jared is curious as shit, so he would vote to stay. Well, then it doesn't really matter what both of things, because Margosh also wants to stay. So let's search the rest of them. All right. So in addition to the 30 silver pieces, after searching all of them, and your torches are kind of burning down to their uh, last embers... Okay, so we have to put two more torches up here. Yeah. So I'll be 40, 50, all right. Um, you find in total, uh, so in, in addition to the 30 you found, you find another 64 silver pieces and you find 20 gold pieces. Oh, sorry, you find a silver bracelet that is worth 20 gold pieces. So 30 silver pieces and a silver bracelet worth 20 gold. Correct, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we relaying some torches and we're okay, we're out of here. Yeah. Okay. Jared, you're with me at the front. <laughs> okay. And we are basically booking her straight back to the, the rope. Please do. Just give me a sec here. As Kev rolls up the Fang Dragon, because Wayne wants his TPK. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. 
I also don't like the sound of my chair squeaking, but still. Yeah, what are you going to do? Okay. So then, uh, Wood. Uh, nice. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself. checking something here oh there we go okay i moved jared into the middle and i put the whole party back right in the glass not what i was trying to do sure sure okay so you're slowly making your way along yep go right ahead all the way Okay. We get close to here. Bargosh is going to tell everybody to, to hold up. He's going to speak forward. Okay. So, Go to give me one second here. So, what you you cannot see anyone directly in front of you, but what you can see is at the far end. Of the hallway, you can see, uh, and it's down in this direction. You can see that there is a, a bluish glow from lights, and you yeah, sort like of that, like I'd seen in the past when those. Why don't you give us a uh, spot check? See if you can make out what it is. That's a. Uh... Spot check. That's like a Russian. Yeah, spot check. Exactly. <laughs> That's good enough. All right. So, why well, I have some Jared? Uh, where's Vargosh? Would you hold on? Would you roll? You're all ten. It's good enough. Because uh, this is a light. So, what you can very briefly see is that bluish light seems to be very faintly. Each of them is very faintly illuminating the upper part of a skeleton or at least a skull that seems to be f f f kind of moving like this there are six of them and you very faintly see the outline of another of those dead votees and they are about let's see here from where you are they're about 150 feet away and they are approaching Argos turns around and goes, we're going to have to run. Okay. Go ahead and uh, run. So actually make your, uh, I think the fastest, or the slowest uh, person among you is Jared. Uh, so can, that... can I carry him? <laughs> yes, you absolutely can. Because I move at 40. Yeah. I think I move at 40. Don't yeah. I and I don't think, I think I've got his weight down there as well too, don't I? Yeah. Argosh is like. He doesn't have a weapon out, so he just walks up to Jared and says, like, we have to run. And he grabs Jared and lifts him up. I don't think you're going to use 41 pounds. I'm not sure this is really... Wow! <laughs> you pick him up and turn. So go ahead and run with everybody. Okay. So you can move... Um, uh, to, and the slowest among you then will be... Uh, yeah, 30. actually six. So uh, 12 squares. Vargas is the fastest. And I'll start marching these things down towards you. One, two, three, four, five, six... You know what I'll do is just so you can get the full effect here. Let's do this. Uh, there you go. Can you look down the hallway? Yep. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out for extra effect. <laughs> Let's do that on stream as well, too. Okay, they're marching down towards you. That yellow box is where the um, square is. Go ahead, you move next. Okay. Um, and I will grab um, the climbing rules. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so I can't quite get there. Okay. That's just a standard move. 
I guess we can. Move you could run up to it and then just next round start climbing. Okay, I was gonna say or use the. That was our move action. We could do a standard action to get to there. Same difference. Yeah, same thing. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. All right, and then they. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you guys have a light out. They would have seen you. Double move. One, two, three, six. All right. So, climbing a rope uh, that is knotted is a DC five uh, climb check. Who would like to make the first climb check? Um. Uh, you can have Jared uh, hang onto your neck if you want to. You need to make the, yeah. the roll for I'll him. Do the, I'll do my goal mocks here going. Okay. And they can move a quarter of the speed by making an appropriate climb check. Uh, he can rush. Uh, or, he can do, or he can do shit and hold us up. No, go much is fine. That's I remember DC5. Oh, DC5, because it's a knotted rope. Yeah, because it's a knotted rope. Oh, okay. yeah, knotted rope. Yeah, yeah. Can I see All you? in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts making his way up. So he, he moves a quarter of his move is uh, two. So he's 10 feet up. Okay. Someone else could get a head start if they want. Yep, Helwyn's uh, right behind him, five feet up. Uh, then, so I think that's, yeah, so you're actually grabbing the rope then at the bottom. All right, yeah, so I'm next holding. round. Um, oh, actually, you're climbing this round, so they get to move again. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, boy! They're coming. You can hear them, we're coming! Then, um, Golmox at the top. Let's make a roll for him. It's 35 feet down from the top to the thing. So uh, he is at... Uh, he's 10 feet up. Yeah, he's 10 feet up right now. So go ahead and make him roll for a thing. <laughs> he's barely... <laughs> he's another 10 feet up. 20 Push feet... Push your wine in and keep climbing. Okay, and then uh, go ahead with Helwyn. Yep, right behind him. So he's 15 feet up. Uh, so do you want to start the climb there, Vargosh? No, nope, all those going next. Oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no progress. He can't get himself up. Now, do, do you have any points of Astonishing Fortune left? I thought you had one left still. We or did. did you... We have one. I think... Uh... <laughs> Aldo, get climbing. <laughs> Vargosh. Yells at he's got a minus three in climb. His armor, I guess. Probably the armor. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Does so. Ugh. Can Jared climb? Uh, yeah. Jared could c climb. Yeah. It just said he's, he's not. not it, it, He's got a minus to his strength. And he only moves 20 feet, which means he only moves five feet at a, at a, in a round, whereas you move 10. Oh, no, wait, you had an 80-foot movement, don't you? I move at 40. You went 40, which means you'd move... Uh, uh, a quarter of that is 10, 10 feet. Okay, so everyone's actually moving about seven and a half, I guess. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Um, Bargosh is just going to, like, you know give Boldo some instruction on how to climb. To aid? Okay, nice. Yep. So that next round he can... I yep. <laughs> Get your ass up there, I'll throw you up myself. So give a climb check from uh, Fargosh. <coughs> Excuse me. No, yep. He, he's got plus two to his roll next round. All right, so let's Maybe. do this. Let's actually roll some initiative here because it's worth okay. now. We're getting pretty close. Uh, I got a 10 on total. Now what I'll do is I'm going to arrange your uh, you know, hirelings in the order that they're sort of in where they are in the rope first, just so sure. it'll be easy to do that. So uh, Golmox is on top, then Halwyn, uh then Boldo is supposed to be next, uh, then it's going to be you. 
and they are on a uh, 10.06. All right, so I just, that's sort of the order here. Okay, so, Golmox, give us a check, please. Climb check. So he is... He's so he's 30, uh, he's 15 feet up right now. Yeah, he's made two checks. Yeah. Now you could, hold on. Um, Ooh, look at him climb. He's, he's yeah. got his groove now. It could be DC 10 to climb at half his speed to go at 15 feet. So he got 15. Uh, so, well, he has actually had to, he has to decide whether he's going to be doing it going fast. Like, would he have been rolling against a DC 10? Oh, um, no. No, okay, so then he's uh, now another seven feet. He's 12, uh, 22 and a half feet up. Uh, Hillwind? Hillwind. That's good enough. She's another uh, seven feet up. Uh, Boldo. And then Boldo. Boldo has plus two to this roll. Are you kidding me, Boldo? Oh my god. Uh, Argos yells at him, if you don't start climbing, I'm going to climb past you. Okay. Go ahead and give us an intimidate check. I will use that to aid. Because if you can't help him with a little bit of love, <laughs> you've got, got to try something else. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so you got plus two to the next roll. One, two, three, five, six. Only because he's scared of the half work. <laughs> six, yeah. And look who just came running in. Yeah. Uh, so Vargas, you motivated Golmox. Another climb check. Golmox. He's twenty-two up right now. He oh. is thirty up right now. So he's uh, almost completely out. Halen. Yep. She's right behind him. Boldo. He gets plus two. <laughs> Come on, you son of a... Go, Cleric. Climb for your life. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> that one! He falls. Oh, my God. I warned him. Uh, so I think this thing comes racing over to him and grabs, tries to... Uh, I miss. I miss him. So I'm going to zoom in a scooch here. Uh, and then it's these things, though. I'll actually move here. I think I can move you guys into your into the little holding area here. The ones who are already up there. They're not going to be able to attack this round. Uh, now, each one of these things... Each one of them has a uh, sapphire gem embedded in its forehead that is glowing. Uh, so that's their turn. Vargosh, what are you doing? Vargosh is going to try and climb up the rope. Go right ahead. Sorry, Boldo. Did everything I could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I rolled an eight. Yep, Vargosh scrambles up. Uh, whoa. The uh, dead votee manages to tag you on your way up. Let's see here. You take two points of damage and I need a fort save from you. Yep, no problem. Goal Mox? Come on. Easy. Golmox is out. Hailwin. Also out. Boldo. Can he get started? With little motivation. There's undead surrounding you. Yeah. Okay, so he has one, two, three, four, five. I held all the attacks of opportunity for the sapphire skeletons for him. So... 
Let's see how many hit. Um, oh, he's only got an AC 11. <laughs> one misses, two hits. He's also flat footed if he's climbing. Oh, shit. Well, he doesn't have any. Yeah. Uh, he takes three points of damage from that first one. Mm. So he falls down, uh, and then they're just hacking at him on the ground. He's hacked to bits. There's no saving him. Uh, they are not going to follow you up, uh, but I think they might shake the rope. Uh, so... That little bugger's going to shake the rope? Yeah, I'll just add five to the difficulty class. So it's a DC 10. Vargosh, okay. go ahead. Just like that asshole from gym class. <laughs> I can run, and I can jump, and I can climb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy. <laughs> you actually could have done the accelerated rate and gone 20 feet up if you were so inclined. You're that good at it. Yeah. So you're going to escape at this point, I think. So you easily come scrambling to the top and pull yourself up. Yeah. Hailwind, no problem. All right, so you guys, uh, you managed to extricate yourself as well, and you can hear him screaming down below. Well, he actually, his screams are silenced very quickly. And then he dies. All right, so I think we can and safely, I, we can move. I, I, tried to, I tried to help him. I showed him how to climb, and, and I tried to scare him off the rope. So we've been uh, calling our dead henchman uh, as buried in the barrows. He literally is in the barrows now. Boldo of St. Yig, alas, we knew ye. All right, so with that, you guys have reached the surface. So this is now, let's see here. You brand sort of pell-mell. So it's about six o'clock at night. Then. <laughs> so I, <laughs> uh, that's great. I start typing in my phone, alas, come up, or, and it starts to, and it suggests real. <laughs> alas, poor real. I'm like, no, poor real. Yeah, that's, um, oh man. Okay. So let's move to the mounds themselves or the yeah here we go alrighty so you've extricated yourself it is 6 o'clock p.m. can you make it to the barrel moor before anything sets upon you there's my random encounter here we go Oh, I've already rolled them. I had to roll for mounds again. Let's see here. Restock. Restock. Okay. Mm. All right, then. You can um, move yourself. Here, let me uh, shift ping if you're not there. There we go. Uh, you can move yourself. Uh, two hexes, please. Alas, poor Boldo. We knew him well. Yep. Died in the maze in his own kind of hell. <laughs> Couldn't climb rope with help or a yell. Will he rise again? We cannot tell. <laughs> oh, man. Well played. Here, I'll put in barrel maze. <laughs> Little impromptu poem for you all. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Move in two squares. Yes, uh, two hexes, please. Go ahead. We're moving on places that we know. Okay, and then go ahead and move two more. All right. Go ahead and move yourself two hexes. And go ahead and move yourself two more. Okay, and stop. At 6.40 in the p.m. Let me grab the tokens we need here. Nope, I can zoom way out again. Um, there they are. Okay. And let's head on over to... Oops, the... Barrel mounds here. All right. 
So I've got Voldo St. Yig, you are no longer here. Hailwind, oh my god, you guys are so banged up. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, now I think I've got, there he is, there it is. All right. And D8. Okay. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, yeah. All right, let me move you over here, Dave. And then here we go. Okay, so uh, if you, I, yeah, I'm picturing you guys moving in. Oh, yeah, I got the wrong. It's Rikus, Colmox. Yeah, Rikus should be gone. Okay. I think that's everybody, right? Yourself, Jared, Golmox, and Hailwin. Is Golmox back up to six hit points? No. No, hold on. He was only at two, I think. Hold on, I can actually put the... There we go. He's at one. So, oh, yeah, he got him up to one. Yeah. Okay, Jared's the other one's... Called, oh, gosh, he's at four. Yeah. yeah, okay, so the rest of these are right. So Golmox just needs to be at a one. Okay, let me get rid of these guys. Boom. All right. So, um, you are heading to the south uh, west. So go ahead and put yourself in whatever order you want to be in here. Well, um, who's our best survivalist? Oh, we don't need that yet. But don't need that I yet. No. Probably be Vargosh would be leading the pack. Okay. Um, Hailwin and Golmox and I. Golwin Golmox is probably. Uh, these guys got like barely enough life to scrape the two of them, so they're probably both pulling the sled. Yeah. And would you kindly give us a uh, listen check from Jared? They're paying attention with his crossbow loaded, hopefully. Yes, we assume that you guys are always traveling with uh, everything out here. Okay. Not one. Oh, Jared! Curses, roll 20. Curses. Okay. So then that means I get to get a surprise round on you. I don't know if I can actually get in. So let me just, uh, we'll roll initiative in a second here. Let me make the surprise attack here. Here, snap to corner. Center. All right, so I can get 80. Oh, sh no, I can't. I can only get 60. I keep thinking of 40 feet because of, uh, okay, so that's where that can go. Ooh, that's where that can go. Okay, so here we go. How is it that you drag the, uh, the ruler again? I drag the ruler? Like how you measure out the, the space? I can't remember how to do that. When, to, uh, when you're moving a token? Oh, um, I thought it was hit shift or something. Control? Hmm. No. No. No, those are working. <laughs> Whatever, I can count it out. One. Oh, you're on your um, pointer as well, too. One, two. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there we go. Yay! There are a pack of skeletons that come racing in, like seemingly from nowhere. Uh, you guys are like, oh, shit, and you suddenly see them. Go ahead and click on your tokens and roll initiative. And these guys seem pretty fast? These are fast, yeah, these are skeletonized. They're just, there's barely anything left of these things. Yeah. Yeah, and they are pretty quick. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, you face things like these before. You think, unless there's some kind of different creature. Head turn. And I rolled. Let's see here. How long did a one? 20. Oh, my God. Oh, it's nice, Jared. It's a first. Alrighty. So Jared is up first. You see these things come racing out towards you. Uh, what is Jared doing? 
He's doing his dark knowledge last one of the day. Oh, nice. So close to... Oh. So you guys all get plus one, you know. Uh, smash them! Smash their bones! Is Vargarsh at four or should he be at six? He was at six before he drank his... Oh, you got tagged on your way up. That's that's why he's at four. Yeah. Right. And he did, yeah, he did, yeah. He didn't get to drink his potion because he gave it to... Yeah. ...to Alwyn. Okay. Uh, she got the, the two potions that were almost dried out. <laughs> all right, so you now have... Mm, plus one to hit these things. Okay. Uh, then it is their turn. Here it comes. One in on Vargosh. Plus, I, I only have plus one to hit, though. So I need a 15 to hit Vargosh here. I roll six. Second one is coming in on Halen. Halen. Uh, I need a 14 to hit her. I rolled a four. Next one. Yeah. In on Halewin. I need a 14 to hit her. I rolled a three. Last one in on Vargosh. Yeah. I need a 15 to hit you. I rolled a 12. <laughs> so narrowly miss with everyone. Golmox, what are you doing? Uh... Fight or die time for everyone. He doesn't have much, but he's got. Uh, he's got a club in his hand, yeah. He's got a club in his hand. Go ahead. You got a plus one from Jared? Plus one from Jared, yeah. Now remember, Halen can uh, shield bash if she doesn't have the. Uh, what else? She'll lose the shield uh, AC bonus, but. <sighs> he's, I think he's just fe fearing for his life, right? All right, Vargosh. Has he, has he got out right now? Um, well, he draws weapons as he goes into battle, so he'll pull the bone crusher. Okay. He's not carrying a bone. The flail? Right? Well, he, okay. He's, yeah, the flail. Right, go ahead, make your attack roll. Come on. That does not include the bonus, does it? Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, God. You're one shy. Oh, no. Oh, shit. All right, Halen. Halen. Uh... Oh, it's so close. <laughs> shit. So she can shield bash? She can shield bash, yeah. It is based same attack rate as her... Um, uh, battle axe, she'll lose two AC uh, next round is all. Okay, so I'll just do a single attack. Okay. And the shield bash uh, damage, I think it's 1d4. <laughs> Roll 20 trying to kill us. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, and... I don't know, Jared Yeah, Jared's shield right? is uh, 1d4 damage. Okay. Uh, watching shit. All right. Uh, then Jared, what's Jared doing? He's got that mace. Yeah. He's throwing a sled at him. <laughs> he throws the sled at them and he leaps off the sled. No! And does his Jaredy thing. Come on, Jared. <laughs> Connect with Jared's this mates. thing. Come on. Oh! Oh, dang. All right, this He's thing. Fine. Minus one damage. <laughs> he heals it. He heals a skeleton for one necrotic. Uh, all right. Uh, so, skeleton time. Here we go. Let's see. We have on... I, I can get... I can five foot step and have one on each of you. So here we go. I know I'll roll in chat. Because that'll be tense. <laughs> Here we go, 1d20 plus one. This is on Vargosh. I need, you got an AC 16. Miss! 
three. This is on Golmox. 16 is a hit! Oh no! no. <laughs> Golmox is gonna go down again. Gold we dragging Mox. him on the cart. Okay, 1d6 plus one. Golmox takes four points of damage. <sighs> From this thing's scimitar. Hailwind has an AC of 13 right now because of the shield bash. Yep. Narrowly misses her. Holy okay. smoke, clips one of her braids. Then Jared, what's Jared's AC? Uh, I don't know, he's never in combat. Yeah, he's rarely, <laughs> Jeff. He's got a 15. 15 AC? Misses him as well, three. All right, <laughs> one is down. Three still remain. Golmox, uh, give us a percentile roll. Nope, not stabilized. Minus four. Vargosh, can you do this? Right Come on. Connect with this thing. If you're power attacking, remember these things are very brittle. You fought these before. You really don't need that extra damage. Yeah, I, he did it last time, but he's not doing it this time. Yeah. Here we go. That is enough. Smash. One is reduced to bone flinders. Go ahead and make your uh, cleave. Come on. Oh, <laughs> boom. That one that took Golmox down pays for it. Uh, you could dig a five-foot step if you like. Yep. Okay. It's writing down there CR. Okay. Uh, then it is Hailwind's turn. Uh, you know what? She needs defense. She's going to swing with her battle axe. Yep. Doesn't do much, but... Here it comes. Uh, that hits, and that seriously damages thing. Okay. Yeah! And gets her shield back up. Jared, what is he doing? Jared is going to... Jared, are you feeling brave? Brave, Jared. Let's do it. Come on, Jared. <laughs> that <Ooh>. one. <laughs> oh, shit. Jared, he thought it was uh, he thought it was element. Yep. All right. So once again on Hailwin, they need now a uh, 15 AC is they're rolling against. Yeah. Miss. And then against Jared, miss as well too. <laughs> Gold locks, percentile roll. See if he stabilizes. Nope. Minus five uh, hit points. Then Vargosh. Oops. You may want to. <laughs> I almost killed him. Oh. <laughs> uh, you may want a five foot step before you. Uh, you may know it's already before you cleave, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're flanking now, too. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> One skeleton down. Go ahead and make your second attack. <laughs> All right. And do you guys have any healing whatsoever left? No. Then it's a DC 15 heal check to try and stabilize Golmox. And the guy who had the healing kit died in the pit. Oh no. So no bonus to it. Uh, does Jared have any healing? Or Halen? Uh, I'm gonna check for healing skills from Jared. Uh, Jared has plus three in healing. Okay. So he, or like he's a plus three ranks, so. Yeah, and he goes before Golmox, so uh, go ahead. How do you do? 19, yeah, he's stable. All right. Okay, so Golmox, you're on the cart. Uh, Hailwind, you're carrying Jared. Okay. <laughs> and Vargosh, or J Jared can sit on the cart and Vargosh will pull the cart. Okay. Come on. All right, then. With great effort. I have rolled for random encounters, so as fun as it is making you go two by two by two, you are going to get out of here. 
So the time is six. Oh, seven o'clock on the nose. So let me write this down. Here we go. Mm-hmm. There we go, there we go. Next session. 7 p.m. in Barrowmore. All right. Now, <laughs> what? <laughs> what a fight. Holy smokes. All righty. So let's see what is happening here. Now, uh, let's calculate some XP for you. Alrighty, and I think I can, whoopsies, put the old, bleh, <laughs> Boldo. Alright, see you, Boldo. Okay. One, two, three, five of you. Let's, uh, the old DMG out here. Okay. Now, like, what a different fight that would have been if that random encounter hadn't showed up in uh, the Barrow Maze. Like when we were fighting the zombies? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we could have just held the zombies at the door, kill them one at a time. Well, and if you, uh, if you did go back and watch it too, you'll see, like, they were actually the, um, the dead votees were placed at the end of the hallway. And then they heard you guys kind of talking and whatnot. I heard the, the portcullis go up. So they started moving up slowly to investigate. And then as soon as the fighting started, that that's when they ran. That's why they ran around the corner and didn't, didn't do anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Ash? Tomorrow's Ash, yeah. Oh, no. I can't play tomorrow. Oh, no. I think Arlen's gone tomorrow, too. And wait, wasn't there two characters down? I think there's at least two characters. Yeah, we'll have to see <laughs> whether we're actually playing Ash or we're doing something different. I think if we uh, can't, I don't know if I've introduced uh, Robert to Jackals yet. Uh, so, <laughs> like, I was like, I thought tomorrow was Crystal Star, and I'm like, okay, well, no, I can't make tomorrow, so the guys will be okay without me. But tomorrow's Ash. I'm yeah, like, oh, and they're fight. They, they, they're in the middle of a brutal fight with. Um, Eight. Yeah, we we're fighting that uh, croc monster with all the crocodile teeth yep. everywhere. Yep. All the maws everywhere. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's see here. That's uh, five. Okay, so that is that. And then one of those. That spider is a little pain in the ass too, right? Yeah, I want to say we're not out of the woods yet, but it's not even woods. It's more like a swamp. So, <laughs> yeah. it's as as the barrel maze, as the barrel moors go, not out of the swamp yet, Wing. No, and you've got um... <laughs> like no healing, no hit points, no potions. If Rikus makes it out. next time, though, or if Bar Rat makes it next time, I think both of them are at full, I believe. Or even Kyrian. Yep. Oh, yeah, even having Kyrian back, because he's got... That's uh, right, he's got heals, too. Yeah. What's Kyrian sitting at right now? Is he injured? Uh, to full hit points, looks like. So between Vargosh, Halwyn, and Jared... Well, Vargosh and Halwyn have combined five hit points. So 16 hit points for... Uh, for Kyrian. Kyrian still has... Uh, he could convert three Cure Light Wounds. John was just getting caught up in um, what yeah. do you call it in uh, work today, so it's not. And then uh, Arlen was sick, and then uh, Jeff was uh, golfing. So I think when we get a chance, because next week is when we start the month of Rollmaster. So, and I'm on vacation for a good chunk of the month. Uh, all right, so well, I mean, not a good a third of it at least. Uh, there are five of you. One, two, three. Who are getting XP for this? One departed. <laughs> Damn the dead. One last sting from it. So, Dave, uh, no points of Astonishing Fortune left, right? Nope. Uh, you guys have not made it back from the Barrow Maze yet. 
But you've gone down in and then out of the barrel maze, so I'm going to give you an extra 20 XP each for that. You are walking away with 820 XP. Wow. 820. 820. So I'll get uh, the NPCs updated here. Uh, 820 plus... Two. Uh, Jared dinged. If you get back to town. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Jared, Jared Dings, that's good. 20 plus, and then uh, Gold Mox. Let's see here. Nolan would have dinged already once if she gets back. Yep. But... Uh, 24, 86. Okay. Uh, Gold Mox is on his way to dinging. And then Hailwind. Yeah, Gold Mox is at zero right now, or minus five, right? Yep. There we go. And then Hailwind, Hailwind, Hailwind. Uh, yeah, she dinged last time, so one, six, six, six. She needs, she needs to rest to get to that next level. Yeah, 24, 86. She's uh, not far off from uh, level three, too. I mean, yeah. that's a really tough, a couple of really tough fights you guys had tonight, so. But that is. Argosh is at 71, 87, so he's definitely dinged if he makes it back yep awesome all right so then so you're at 787 7187 out of 6000 wow yeah what what is it for uh fourth level yeah six six oh so you're at four you're at fourth level then too yeah it's, it's like one thousand three thousand six thousand wowzers that's pretty awesome and then how much to get to level uh, five. That's a class. There you go. There was a time when I probably would have had the shit memorized. 10,000 to get to fifth level. Oh, so he's getting close to... <laughs> oh my god. All right, then, for those listening at home, thank you so much for joining us for this most recent expedition into the Barrow Maze. As is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this campaign, this session, or the game we're playing, please do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will endeavor to reply in a timely fashion. Uh, if you are, uh, you, alternatively, you can reach me on Twitter at Dungeon Musings, or you can reach me by email. My email address is dungeonmusings at gmail.com. You can also find a link down below to the Dungeon Musings Discord server where all of us are active. Uh, we have channels dedicated to this campaign, this game, and every other campaign we run on the channel, as well as a bunch of other great channels for, uh, I mean, just there's a bunch of great people and a bunch of great topics over there. You, uh, people who are looking for people to play in groups and stuff like that as well. So if you're looking to, for people to play with or you want to find players, um, you have plenty of opportunity over there. Uh, in addition, uh, there is a link down below to something called Heroes Save Villages. That's the charity fundraising campaign we run on the channel. It benefits the SOS Children's Villages International Charity, a really terrific organization active in over 130 countries. Um, it uh, benefiting over 80,000 orphan and abandoned children. Um, and uh, from now until December 1st, for every $25 Canadian that you donate, uh, you get one chance to win uh, the grand prize or one of the other great prizes in our next charity raffle. Uh, in addition, you also get a chance to uh, vote for our um, next charity uh, session. Uh, if you've donated since uh, April, no, if you've donated since August 1st, you can vote. And you do that by heading over to the Dungeon Musings Discord server to the Charity Initiatives tab, and you cast your vote for which of the four games we have on offer to uh, play our next, or, or uh, to um, decide. Right now, the, the leading game is a session of Werewolf the Apocalypse. And again, not to put my uh, thumb on the scale too much, but I will point out that the picture for Black Furies in the Werewolf the Apocalypse core rulebook is a spitting image of my dear pup, Anna Banana. So, uh, 
Not saying that that one necessarily. I will happily rerun any game, but uh, it is only narrowly in the lead with one vote. If you do want to go and cast your vote for that, that will help ensure that we'll get a little bit of lead on that. Or if there's one of the other great um, uh, horror games that looks uh, interesting to you, be sure to cast your vote for that one. Uh, there are four different ones there. Whatever one has the most votes by October 1st will be the one we're running. And then if you have donated since August 1st, you also get a chance to go back and spend some of the money you donated to help outfit our heroes as well, too. Um, last thing I will say is um, that w for October of 2021, if you're listening to this live uh, or around the time of the recording, uh, we're gonna be shaking things up a little bit, uh, partly because from October 14th until October 25th, I will be on vacation. Uh, so I, I do not have plans to run any games uh, during that period. So we will not be ha having any games streaming on the channel. I may change plans over the course of my vacation if I get bored, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but uh, I do not plan to have anything um, uh, running during that period. Uh, in addition, on the Wednesdays and Fridays in October, we are going to be uh, taking a, uh, a break uh, from our Barrel Maze and our Night Below games to play a short campaign playing... Oh, where is it here? Here we go. Iron Crown Enterprises Classic Rollmaster 2nd Edition role-playing game. We have a thing for 2nd Editions around these parts. Um, so uh, you'll be finding, uh, so you can find more information about that on the Dungeon Musings Discord server, and I'm going to be recording a video giving an introduction to uh, Rollmaster uh, over the span of this weekend. I don't know what uh, what day, but um, if you either are a fan of Rollmaster from the past, uh, or if you want to see what um, you know what Rollmaster is like, I'll be recording that video, uh, and then we'll be playing our uh, campaign. Everyone's got uh, from uh, both campaigns have a bunch of characters uh, lined up for this, so it should make for a really fun month. When that is over, we'll be returning back. So uh, we will be back in the Barrow Maze come November, and we'll be back uh, in the night below and that period as well too. Neither of those campaigns are going away. They are just giving us a, a slight opportunity because I'll be gone for so much of the month to uh, indulge some, um, uh, some change. Um, last thing I will say is a huge, huge thank you to our brave adventurer, uh, to Dave and Resident Armorsmith as well, too. Dave, thank you so much for playing today. This was a terrific way to wrap up a long week. So, Thanks, Kev. I'm not sure I'm going to sleep so great tonight. But, you, know. <laughs> well, you got one near-dead hireling. You got uh, five hit points between the other two. Come on, you're, you're fine. And, and one hireling that we left behind. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man, and that's just brutal. Like th th Those dice rolls were just against him, and it totally makes sense. Vargas was like, fuck it. Not all dying. <laughs> well, and the round before, even before they came onto the screen, Vargas was like, if you don't climb, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, then, and then he didn't. Like, well, you were on that I one, didn't you, on that last roll? He had like a minus, he had a plus two from Intimidation, but he, he rolled a five and he had a minus two or a minus three. So he was still at like four. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, shit. Oh my God. All right. Well then, uh, we'll be back with this campaign in a couple of weeks. If you're not listening to this live, then it'll be seamless. We'll see you back in the barrel maze momentarily. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks to everybody who joined us in chat or uh, later. Uh, we hope that uh, we gave you a few hours to keep your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the troubles that our barrel maze heroes get themselves into. And until we see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming.